for me to make. I'm going to attempt to follow the guide and probably about halfway through be like, you know, I should be following the guide, but also I'm going to go click this thing because I got a shiny. Yeah. Hmm. Can't pin anything interesting. Right. Also, we need some music. And with all the Hades 2 news coming out, I can't think of any music that is more appropriate. Hey, welcome on in. So uh, you'll only be able to hear the music if you're over on Twitch. Okay. All right. Uh, here we go. Perfect. see everything looking good i think everything's looking good here this is always the awkward it takes a minute to set everything up and i usually forget something so we'll see here if everything is actually set up correctly but i think it is wait why doesn't it oh okay obs is being weird it's like why isn't obs saying i'm properly live but never mind it does Okay, cool and cool. And one more thing that I have to grab. I kind of wish you could do this stuff before you go live. But sadly, you cannot. So, there we go. Should be live and should be good from here. How's everyone doing? Starting off in the new season, and I decided to play Yoga Illusion. Honestly, it was a hard decision to make. Not because there's no good options, but because there's too many good options. Either this, or play Gemma again, because I had so much fun for last season, or play the new Erica, or go back to Moto and explode stuff, or try Iris again, because she was fun in the preseason. So many good options. It's everyone else starting. Ooh. Wrong yoga. This yoga does not go mind control. Uh, so when you say you bought a Carino, do you mean lethal flash? Because yes. Lethal Flash is still viable, and I have no idea if Lethal Flash will be fun to you or not. It's kind of a you thing. If you like the playstyle the first time, you'll probably like him again. He hasn't changed. If you did not like the playstyle, then you're probably still not going to like the playstyle. Yep. It should be noted that Carino Ranger of Glory is a very bad. The... First hero trait slash the free one that you just start with. Unfortunately, not in a good spot. Got nerfed this season. And personally, I would not recommend playing that character right now. Or I should say that hero trait. Because again, lethal flash, quite good. I can just tank this, surely. Oh yeah, easily. Why was I playing around mechanics there? Playing around mechanics is a strict mistake in all times in games. Well, okay. I was playing No S for Wicked earlier, and uh, let me tell you, playing around mechanics, not a mistake in that game. Hmm. Yeah. The automation stuff will take a little bit. 
I'm going to warn you right now, you will not just be automating right off the bat because you have to progress fairly significantly to get to it. But once you get there, it should be good. Or, you know, you can play the character that I'm playing and you just get automation from like level 10. Different kind of automation though, not activation mediums. Hero trait. I think I can mostly just run past these guys. Though getting a little more EXP and hitting level 3 would be nice just to unlock the next slot. Oh yeah, I, sh I haven't put on the gear. I should definitely do that. What's the least bad option here? That's going to be big. It's base damage. Base damage is OP right now. There we go. Hello, big doggo. You are not a nice big doggo like Cerberus. Cerberus from Hades, anyway. Uh, Cerberus from Hades, best big doggo. Cut. Almost to level three here. So I've only played Lethal Flash once, I think. Actually, have I played him twice now? Once or twice. And I didn't have a very good time at low levels. I will warn you, his low level, kind of clunky. But once he gets going, once you get a hero trait established, pretty fun, actually. Definitely had an overall good time. Just don't be surprised if you're first, I don't know, 10, 15 levels, maybe even 20, a little on the rough side. With the changes, I feel like that's kind of going to be the case for a lot of characters. Wait. Oh, no, I don't want to do this. I want to keep that like so. And then this here. Oh, that little star thing. Some sort of build recommendation. All right. I need to change my keybinds quickly. I forget why I changed that. But skill one should now be number pad one. Confirm. Wait, what did I do? Oh, well, that's weird. So this should actually be one. Confirm. But then this should be two. Oh, I know what I did. Oh, I know how I messed up my controls. But okay, one second, I have to fix things. So I need to set it back to the one, two, three thing because I accidentally switched my bars and that's what's messing things up. So you haven't played in three to four months. Is it worth coming back? A season just started. So this is the perfect time to come back. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, first of all, battle settings. Do I need to change anything here? No, I do not need to change anything here. Control settings. Skill one. Confirm. Skill two. Confirm. And now I just do one... And, okay, yeah, because it's defaulted to right click one, two, three, four. That's why it gets weird. You'd think I would have figured out the controls, but I clearly messed with it from my last character and I've now forgotten how to set up controls in a video game. So I remember I had to do something weird and this is the weird thing that I had to do. Like so, All right, it's fixed. We're good. Wait, are we good? No. No. Now I have to switch those back. Cancel. Okay. There we go. Fixed. So is there any pass to get all the hero varieties? Yes. If you get the seasonal battle pass, you will get 
all of the playable heroes. Now, you'll only be able to keep the newest one once the battle pass expires, but if you buy the next battle pass, it'll unlock everything again. And you can buy the characters individually if you really like one of them, or you can earn hero tokens by playing the game and use those to permanently unlock the characters. This is actually something that changed just this season, and I'm really, really glad they did. Because it's much, much more accessible. It should be everything. Okay, rare down. Just want to level things up real quick. Fill out some talents. Two, three. Because Peary Trade is built off of, I'm guessing, something that the game's anti-cheat doesn't like. Yeah, I can see that. Hmm. Yeah, Laps is a good character. Now, unfortunately, Margon, the problem with that is it's impossible for the game to tell if you're using it for a nefarious purpose or if you're just using it to run... Uh, Peary trade. All right. Add this. On to the next zone. It'd definitely be nice if game anti cheats were a little bit smarter in terms of general stuff. But again, it would also be nice if games didn't need anti-cheat because people weren't constantly cheating in them, but that's way too idealistic. No way that's ever happening. Okay, cool. Level six. And once I get to level seven, things will get better. I say that. They won't really get better until 12. 12 is when things get really good. No, let's go through here, just kite back. I don't know if I really need to kill things here. Blink, blink, blink. Blink, blink, blink. Couple of dodges in here. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Yep, and I'm dead. Okay. But you know what? Problem solved because the thing that I need to kill is also dead. Yeah, I did not use Awakened Pewee Trade, so personally I don't end up with that issue. Though, <laughs> unfortunately, I also can't sell items in Pewee while playing Torchlight a lot of the time, because a lot of the time when I'm playing, I'm streaming, and I don't think stream wants to see random Pewee messages slash, you know, get interrupted by me going, oh, hey, I have to negotiate with this guy in Pewee now. Might not be the best experience for people, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's exactly what people want, and I should start doing it more. There has to be some sort of low effort, high effort trolling that you can do with that that people would watch. Okay. Level seven. Hmm. Where are you, Ring of Ice? 
Oh, I do need the fridge of transmission, so I'll grab that. Change. I like how it's like, you should use this. It's like, no, I'm using something else. Go away. Cool. And three new talent points. One, two, three. Looks like I don't quite have the damage for this yet. Wait, do I have something good in my inventory that I can put on? Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Let's see, helmet for cast speed, gloves for attack speed. Oh, those are better boots. And none of these weapons are particularly good, but I'll put on this chest because it is the only chest that I have. And aside of this, we're just pretty much trying to get to the loot zone here. Once we get to the loot zone, all of our problems will magically be solved. That is how loot zone works. At least I'm reliably freezing things now. But someone's discovered the loot zone. They're like... I got lonesome so easy. Yep, you will get that. And much, much more. Ooh, do I use lonesome if it drops? I guess I do right now because I have no rings, but I also don't know that I want to. Oh, whoops. Whole bunch of trash and now we're in the promised land and by promised land i mean loot zone land i know you guys are probably like 10 why are you hyping this thing up so much what's so good about it oh trust me <laughs> trust me it'll be good Just a, a little bit of lag. Okay. So this is now the loot zone. This is where you kill enemies and watch my EXP bar. Yes, the new season is live. That's exactly where I'm playing right now. Yes, void zones are gone. They're now replaced with treasure troves, aka loot zones, aka the best thing to do while leveling. What skill am I going to use? Good question. I have no idea. You've been around for a while. You should know I don't plan these things. Right now, my plan is get to level 12 so that I can actually play the game. And after that, we'll see. Okay, that should help a lot. And I'm going to make one swap here because I think, yes, I picked up two daggers. Okay. Uh, do not expect very much league mechanic while leveling. Oh, this is so much better already. Look at that. Hmm. Okay. Gonna dodge, dodge. Kill this guy and, oh, Elemental Whisper Belt. Okay, so first things first. Don't need that. Don't need weapons. 
Hey, thank you very much for the gift sub to Foxy Roo. And welcome on in. How is your season start going? Oh, I can't equip that yet. Oh no, I was baited. Ooh, that's cast and attack speed. That's so good. Automatically equip cast and attack speed and spell damage. Okay. Oh, we're getting the good loot right now. So what I'm going to do, lock that. Dust my entire inventory because I don't need it anymore. And now we do this again. Uh, for a first timer, there's a few characters that I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend Yoga Elapse, so the other version of a character I'm playing, or Karino Ranger of Glory. I would not recommend those. Uh, I also wouldn't recommend Bing the Bomber. And I wouldn't recommend Thea. Aside of that, it really comes down to what kind of build you want to play. I think all the other characters have builds that are beginner friendly. Let's see, Spellburst charge speed. Mm, no, thank you. I like AAOE. I don't think I'll have damage issues, so I don't think I need Spellburst charge speed. Cool. But what I do need is just a couple more levels here so that I can get my actual spell burst going, and then this is gonna accelerate so much. You won't believe it. The levels are gonna fly. Actually, I'm probably gonna get most of a level here anyway. Uh, I need just a little more damage. Rock Lizard Skull, oh, let's go. Got both of the items that I wanted. I'm mostly picking up all this stuff just to, you know, actually have stuff. I won't continue to do that. Let's see, is that better? No. Are any of these better? No, they don't seem to be. Okay. Oh, gear armor. That's neat. All right. Oh, it, it dashed away. I was hoping it would get frozen and die with its friends. I think the rares are worth killing here. Eh, you know, my weapons are probably good enough that I don't actually care. Wait, is this enough? Or am I one point short? I think I'm one point short. Yeah, I'm one point short. No. We're getting a little AoE. AoE isn't technically a damage up, but it feels really nice. There we go. Yeah, try to punch me, I dare ya. Yes, that's a new player guide kind of thing, I think. It's new and uh, I'm gonna be ignoring it, mostly because it doesn't matter for what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing and what I'm doing is spell bursting. Or more accurately, I'm not spell bursting yet, but I'm about to be. Aha, get frozen, Mr. Boss. Okay. Ooh, and a pentagram astrolabe. Well, I equip this because it's automatically better. Spells, spells, spells. Yes, triple spell. And do I even care? Oh, yes, I do care. That's a good weapon. Cold skill level's neat. Probably won't need it, though. So, first thing to do here is install this in, I think, this. Okay, second of all, can't craft yet. But what I can do, this is where I get so much speed. Point 0.12, beacon. Then after that, it's all about coming out to here. I'll just fill out extra spell damage. Right now, my damage isn't bad enough, but I felt like I needed the extra damage. So I'd rather just have the quality of life of, oh, look at that. Look at that AOE. This is how you spell burst. Also, you're going to note my levels just fly up now. Like I'm already at the boss. Yeah, yoga has gotten a lot of buffs. I actually think yoga illusion is one of the strongest characters right now. Like low key. At least on low gear. <laughs> Wait. 
I thought everyone had drops. I'm pretty sure everyone has drops. It's not like channel specific. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that. I should be like, yes, I am the only person. Everyone watch me to get your, your free crystals. Wait, I should have grabbed the belt. Wait, no, I don't. Do I? Uh, yeah, I needed a belt. Whoops. Oh, well, we'll just keep doing this for a little bit. I failed at pressing my buttons. Hmm. Yes. Yes, this is literally exactly what the guide would have by this level. Keep in mind, the first few levels will not be like this. <laughs> the first few levels are much, much worse. You have to get to level 12. But once you get to level 12, this is what happens. Spellburst is insane. Actually, to be honest with you, the clear in the guide is going to be better if you follow it for a little longer. But you'll see that in like 20 minutes. Eh, maybe a little longer. I'm kind of slow. We'll see. We'll see when I unlock the next stage of God Tier Clear. Okay, Elemental Whisper Belt. That's what I wanted, and I'm level 16, so I can put this on and get out of here. Now I have even more damage. Up goes the enemy. Skip. And into mine we go. Skip. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so remember how I said the guide had better clear? Well, now I have better clear. I just have to remember to hit my buttons correctly. But basically, I just get to teleport around, and it's going to get even better in just another level or two. I need to unlock my first hero trait and get clone boy. Getting stuck on terrain is a little unfortunate. Yes, this is the new season. I mean, for some characters, that's absolutely going to be true. A good example of this is... Thea Incarnation, I'm pretty sure Spell Burst on her is way worse than it used to be because she's going to benefit massively from just automating everything with activation mediums. But on Yoga, so fun fact, you get automation from your clone who can still Spell Burst. So it still works and you don't even need a fancy activation medium. Uh, I cannot tell you anything about what the meta builds are because I've been playing it for about 40 minutes. <laughs> and uh, the meta builds depend on how the activation mediums work out. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to play New Erica, though. That's fine. Oh, yeah. The guy was over here. He moved away from me. That's unfortunate. See how much damage I have for this. Alright, I don't want to get punched. Ah, I got punched anyway, it's fine. You gonna use rockets? 
This will get solved once I have my clone. I just need my clone to do a little bit more damage to bosses. Also, having stats on my weapons would help, but I'm too lazy to pick up weapons to check for stats. Because it, it's just not an issue most of the time. Wait, Pilgrim's Boots. I don't think Pilgrim's going to be good. Oh, yeah, I should also allocate a bunch of stuff here. Skip. Um, What do I want to put on? I guess just this. And I'll go with the life. Do I go with res? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, so I can't actually out. That's different. So I guess you can't do that till level 20 anymore. Could be remembering wrong, but I don't remember reading about that in the patch notes. Oh no, I'm trapped in a box. Oh, goodbye. Oh yeah, I should uh, definitely fill this out. I want to go one, two, three. This will help my damage significantly. Then four, five, six. I mean, it's kind of just going exactly where I would go anyway. The only difference is I'm going for AOE for quality of life instead of the raw spell burst recovery. Now we encounter live. The spell burst charge will get much better soon too. Hmm. Onto the riverside. I'm not quite freezing things as much as I'd want yet. Because I'd like to have my frigid transmission constantly come back up. Oh, that's a dead end. Oh, we'll see. I don't even know if I'm going to do Spellburst long term. It's just a really easy way to start and level. It might go mana stack long term. Which probably won't be that cheap, to be honest. But maybe mana stack plus spell burst will. And now I get plus one spell skill level. And now we get infinite levels again. Because you can do this. Everything explodes. Oh, wait, cold light shank. Hmm. 
Okay, level 20. Got a bunch of curse stuff that I'm not going to use because I'm too lazy to use them manually. I should put on Mana Boil, though. Because the nice thing about Mana Boil is you don't need to use it manually. Well, you do, but only once per zone. I could do that after I stop the boss, though. Lone Survivor. Hmm. Is this worth it? Surely it's worth it at this level. Okay, I guess when my rings are this trash, yes, it's worth it. Right? Nah. Nah, I think I'm going to take my trash rings instead. I changed my mind. Attack block, spell crit, cast speed. Sure. And one, two, three. Oh, things are still shooting at me. That's interesting. All right, I didn't put on Mana Boil. Perfect. Wait, it wants me to take Secret Origin Unleash? Oh, I definitely disagree with that. I don't want to eat all my blessings. I want to keep all my blessings. Why are called blessings? Because you keep them. Don't think that one's actually an upgrade. Going to keep looking out for rare daggers, though. Right. Uh, in what context, Matthias? Uh, let's see. If you mean what I'm playing right now, or is there another context here? Because right now I'm playing Torchlight. Will I put Grace Boots on? Sure. I'm not going to be eating my blessings. And recycle everything? Yes. Added cold damage, efficient cast, out for psychic burst. Everything else is good. Okay, I will actually stop here just for a second to allocate things because this gets me that. And where do I want to put that last point? I guess into the crit. Hmm. Oh, well, if you're asking what game I like more, then... I don't really have a super strong preference because that's kind of like saying, do you like apples more than oranges? And well, sometimes I like having an orange. Other times I'd prefer to have an apple. Hmm. That's an upgrade. I want just a little bit more attack speed. I wonder if I can get a couple of daggers of attack speed. That's cast speed, not attack speed. Oh, but that has attack and cast speed on it. Sure, gimme. Oh, that was for... I was going to say, that's the marginally good ring. The other ring being way worse. 
And I think I'm going to go for one more level here. Just make sure I'm nice and smooth in terms of my progress. And also this way I can get my hero trait before I have a live battle. I was pressing the wrong button. I was like, why am I moving so slow? Well, it's because I was holding down my attack button and not my move button. Whoops. Much smoother now. Yeah, Torchlight is definitely simpler than PoE. That's why I say for me, they occupy different times. To be fair, Torchlight also tried to be hard. I don't know if you remember season two or not, but that was the point where Torchlight was at its hardest. It was also the point where it was at its least popular. Torchlight players do not want a hard game. So now it's gone towards a, a bit more of an arcadey fun style of game. Okay. Allocate. What do I even want here? Um, he'll do. I don't think I actually need those points. So revert, switch, switch, revert. Just give me damage. I just want more of the damage. And magister seconds. And now we get the clone. If you thought I was going fast and had good clear before, wait till you see what happens when I have the clone. No, I probably shouldn't just stand there and cast, but I don't know. It wasn't going that badly for me. I'm going to be honest. It wasn't actually going badly for me. Like, it's like, read your hero trait. No, thanks. Readings for nerds. Oh, wait, that's me. Guess readings for me. Hmm. You say you're looking forward to a lot of time in season four. Uh, season four ended about six months ago now. We are in season six. So yeah, when I say season two, I mean season two Black Sail. And now I have a little clone buddy. He just follows me. Yeah, <laughs> it's very weird. Because it's the sixth season since the game came out in beta, but the fourth since it officially launched or something. I don't know. I wish they'd just call it season six. It would make things way easier. Because then nobody knows what you're talking about when you say season four. <laughs> hmm. Corroded Live seems to be dead. Now we just chill and wait a little bit. Oh, and uh, level up skills. Hmm. Oh, she's serious now. And I'm serious about AoEing them all down. Let's see who runs out first, her ads or my AoE. Spoiler alert, my money's not on her ads. 
because my AoE is just, it's automatic. I can just chill here. My clone's got this. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Good job, buddy. Yeah, it's less tedious when you don't insta-phase her, but because it's so easy to insta-phase her, especially with this build, it is quite tedious. Like, look at how long the timer's been counting down for, and I could have, like, got up and gotten a drink. They streamlined a lot in the leveling, though, so I won't complain too, too much. Just, you know, complain a little bit. That's what we do here. We complain just a little bit. The right amount of a little bit, hopefully. And the sequence is over. Well, once the RP finishes, but I think my clones got this, so I don't need to worry. Yes, I am at 25 already. Because there are things called treasure troves. You level very quickly in them. Also, there's now only three chapters instead of five. So I'm about to be on to chapter two, which means I am one third of the way through the leveling process. Good old awaiting. You know, I might actually, nah, I'm gonna keep the grace boots. Okay. Quest unlocked. There we go. Hmm. All right. Okay. Talk to Romer and. Talk to this guy. We're back to the quest. Let's go. Rush should be easy mode. Well, not should. Will be. Oh, did I forget to... <laughs> oh, I talked to the guy, but I didn't activate the tower. No. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. There are definitely problematic elements. Overall, it is quite reasonable. There are certain things like City of Eterna, though, that, yeah, if you don't have a pet, at least last season, there's no point in farming it, which is really unfortunate. I like how it's like, here, you obtained this support. And I'm like, yeah, don't worry, buddy. I, I got that a while ago. The way I've always approached the game and the way I think that most people should approach the game is... It's a $15 a season subscription. Like you buy the battle pass every season if you play regularly. And if you do that, you'll have a pretty good time overall. Yeah, I do wish pets did not exist. Oh. So there's So I can now start upgrading affixes. Is there anything I actually do want to upgrade? You know what? Yes. Oh, that requires 60. 
Okay. Just wondering about that. It's just oh, and it requires twelve. Okay. So never mind. Can't upgrade anything on my old dagger. Means I should probably drop a new dagger soon. If only just to get some of the upgrade potential there. Because as long as I have a solid spell damage roll or a damage to spells roll, I'm going to be happy. I'm not too picky. Cold Light Shank. See, this is exactly what I mean. And apparently those are the max affixes. All right, we're not doing any crafting. Game does not want us to craft. Another cold light. Oh, that's an upgrade. And the gloves are not. Cool. See, sometimes the game's just like, hey, want free stuff? Here's exactly what you wanted. I need just a little bit more freezy. Or slightly more resets for more zoom zoom speed. You know what? Let's do this. I also need to remember to use my guy. That's not automated for another, what, 20 levels? Yeah, 20 levels. I'm like, I can just do it automatically. No, you can't. Soon, though. Soon I'll totally be automating it. Okay. Onto the courtyard and onto the next part. Oh, I need my passive EXP. Passive EXP for the win. Pop goes the guy. Leveled up. Spell dot. Eh. Double daggers is 100% the way to go here. And soon there'll be double sacrifice daggers. Or maybe these already are. I don't remember low-level dagger base names. What I do remember is that I picked up a lot of trash. Goodbye, trash. You can always just go this way and dodge all the traps. It's a little bit OP. And we go around here. Wait. Clone Buddy, where'd you go? I missed you. Well, did I miss Clone Buddy or did I miss Clone Buddy's damage? I guess I just missed Clone Buddy's damage. But you know, that's kind of like missing Clone Buddy. Ooh. Upgrade. Having a bit of armor while leveling is super OP. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, Fool's Dagger. Let's see, spell crit damage if you've attacked recently. Well, I always have attacked recently, but I don't think that's worth it. I think my current daggers are better.
Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you again for the gift sub. And good luck on your season start. I think I just keep current boots for move speed. Not that move speed matters that much, but uh, I'm going to keep pretending that it does because it makes me feel better. Especially just running around town. It makes me feel better, to be honest. Now, someone's still alive. Yeah, someone's still alive. Well, how about, how about let's fix that? We good old paladin set. Hmm. Oh, right. More damage. And now full on cast speed. Because cast speed for the win. Oh wait, skill slot. Skill slot vacant, spiral strike, quick mobility. Yes, thank you. Uh, I don't quite have enough. I need 35. But once we get 35, we're gonna be spiraling into business. I remember this is the spot where I have to actually fully kill them. Okay. Paladin's heavy armor. Kind of garbage. Come on, Paladins. You can do better than that. Well, maybe they can't. They are trying their best, but they are Paladins after all. Can I just tank this? I think so. Yes. Go to Mistville. Go to Mistville. Touch the weird tentacle thing. Absolutely the thing you're supposed to do. So. You're welcome. And yes, that is intentional. Because having the camera and the overlays and all that garbage makes things unwatchable after they're just videos. So I cut all that from the YouTube. That way people can actually watch it afterwards and have a good time. All right, so I can explore here or here. Well, since I only have two options, there we go. Hmm. I'm overthinking this. Oh, no. I hit a trap. I triggered its trap card. <laughs> All right. Wait. It seals off four bot. Okay. Click to remove it with sanity. It's better to just do this, right? Ah, that was, that was why. Because I can go one, two, three, and that only costs nine. Oh, that's a dead end. Okay. We have to remove this. Never mind, I just spent extra sanity for no reason. Oh, sanatorium. Cool. Money. Rip. Do I... Hmm. I'm just gonna hope the clock tower is elsewhere. Clearly it isn't. Oh, okay. Sanatorium saved me from my bad decisions. There we go. Go to clock tower. Add them to folklore. No one lives. Kill the incoming Mistborn until there's none left. Okay. Kill them till they're dead. I think I can handle that. Or at the very least, my clone can handle that. I don't know about me. I don't know how much I'm contributing here. <laughs> I'll see how this goes. Yeah, where's the last guy? Over here. Okay. Sanity recover. Chest folklores. Got a bunch of trash and level up. 
Then I rest on a bench. And a new day has spawned. Now we touch the tentacle again. And we repeat. Sanity cost unfortunately goes up, though. Every time. Money! What does this do again? Seals off. Click to remove it with sanity. When this is, you, you lose 10% of your... Okay. Yep. Gonna just get rid of that ASAP. Sanatorium. Money. I think the cost to remove it is doubled. Yes. Okay, so I have to get rid of that one. Sanatorium. Oh, it's forcing me to remove this, isn't it? Yep. Unless the tower's here. No, it wasn't, but at least I got something good. Uh, sanatorium, thank goodness. Clock tower. That was... Yeah, a little sketchy. A little sketchy. What did I get? Uh, preview two random cells. I'm going to go bleak mask. Lower the exploration costs. 48. Uh, let's, let's try to get a trader or something. Food? From now on, the sanity cost of removing a bad omen stele is minus five. Confirm. Use. Sanatorium. Oh, is this gonna dead end me? Don't dead end me here. Yes, we did it. Kill the guests of a door and close all three doors. So. I just go to place, kill things. Yes, go to place, kill things. Like so. That's one down. Two down. Then the third one here will get me my free loot chest. Something tells me I'm not making it to day nine here. Not getting an activation medium right off the start either. Mostly because I'm starting with sub like a hundred, which is rough. Okay, good shoes at least. Something, and then we rest on the bench. New day. Okay. Five per, oof. Sanatorium? Wait, did I get the God Run? Oh no. Okay, dare I do this? Yes. Oh, what's this? The Mistville Trader. I have 358. So, the special effect of anorexia cannot take effect on you. Or all alchemy workshops will be revealed. That's a neat one. Cover 12 sanity. Oh no, recover six when previewing. I can get both of these. Uh, that, that. Okay, like so. Uh, I have to remove this. All right. I don't think I have to remove that. Oh, wait. I wanted to do that because I lose coins. Never mind. I did not need to do... Damn it. Well, whatever. It's fine. I shouldn't have done that in that bottom right. Because it didn't matter. Okay, well. I've definitely messed up a little. Spend my coins. But it uh, costs way too much. Okay. I can't remove that. I can't remove that. This is where I just go insane, right? Yes, this is where I go insane. Oof. Yeah, that's rough. 
All right, well, I got to day five. I did mess up a little bit. I don't think ultimately me messing up really mattered. Hmm. Just uh, keep going where we were. Right, have to go around. Should know that. I've done this zone a billion times. It is a little unfortunate that even though I was right before the boss, it teleported me all the way back to town. I'll have to remember that in terms of entering Mistville and probably not do it except when I'm done with a zone. That's okay, though. And good news is, it's time to level up more now. Because we're back to the treasure zone. I'm taking a little bit of damage here. Oh, because I was standing in this. All right, problem solved. Can I teleport up here? Yes, I can. Beautiful, beautiful. Hmm. So now I just do this for a few levels. And uh, this is kind of how leveling works now. I could kill the rares. I don't think it matters. I don't think the rares really matters. Just about the boss. Oh, look. Hi, damage. Hello. Uh, put that on. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of assumed you could only do it at endgame, but I haven't tried. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. And... Oh, I'm actually so close to that. That's insane. What support should I put here? Overload? Yes, overload. Oh, all my ores are... Oh, God. <laughs> Never mind. Me. Oh, look, all the ores are unlocked early. No, they're not. What are you what are you saying? Ores don't unlock for more levels. Cause you're kind of not supposed to find an omniscient prototype and just win like this, even though the treasure troves definitely let you find an omniscient prototype and just win like this. Oh, look, another one. Uh, I will, I think, put on the Sage's Ring. Yeah, my other rings are bad enough that that's a huge upgrade. Oh, yeah, I should uh, level up my skills more. You know, in this very safe spot where I decided to stop and do that in. Yep, the season is out.
Pop goes the enemy. Drop goes the pentagram astrolabe. Ooh. That looks like an upgrade. All right, I can't do that till 60 still. My bad. See how tough these enemies are. I mean, not actually that bad. Wait, is that an upgrade? Maybe. This I can upgrade. Okay. And now it's definitely an upgrade. Oh, Fool's Dagger. Damage to spell, spell crit. Cool. I can replace that one because that one wasn't that good. Hmm. I don't think Torchlight Infinite really has dedicated support builds. I would recommend instead just playing two fairly complementary things. Like, your friend could play Icy Ring or Ice Lances, and you could play Frost Terra. Something like that. But I can't really think of a dedicated support build. Ooh, Chain Steel double damage is neat. All right, nothing else particularly good there. It could be that they changed auras in part due to that, but I think the main reason why they changed auras wasn't due to support builds. It was due to the fact that pretty much everyone was playing an Enamor Aura Stacker. Uh, to be fair, Enamor Aura Stacker was very broken, so I'm not blaming people for doing it. But they were like, we don't want you to do this anymore. Please stop. Like, everyone was an Aura Bot last season. Without even having to be. Most of this stuff is junk. And now I can put on actual auras. Kind of. Wait, why do you want me to do ice in view? I don't need that. I want thunder spirit for speed. And then... Flame in view for damage. And then, oh no. I still don't think Ice Imbued does anything, so I'm just going to go Fire Spirit now. But builds are looking good. Uh, leveling builds. The season's been out for an hour, dude. I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what you're expecting. Get back to me in a couple days. Nope. I'm not in maps. I'm in the treasure trove, a.k.a. the loot grind zone, a.k.a. basically just maps but lower level. Any of these things actually matter? I don't think so. And now I'm going back to the campaign now that I've gotten a few levels. See? Back to the campaign. See how fast Pack Leader Dodge is.
Hmm. Oh, she's very playstyle specific. So, worth if you like the playstyle. Basically, do you enjoy Herald of Thunder Auto Bomber and PoE? If yes, probably worth. If no, probably not worth. Oh, I'm dead here. Yeah, I stood in that a little too long. See, I could dodge and all that, but I expected him to die just a little teeny bit faster. So uh, I didn't. All right, that's Lightning Erosion. That's Erosion Spell Crit. We're going to place this with that and then upgrade it because we can upgrade the Fire to Spells like that. Yeah. She's pretty fun. I didn't end up playing her because uh didn't want to deal with the early game. <laughs> it's like, you know, early game on a shock build, no thanks. I'll do that as a second character. Should have waited just a bit. Okay, my clone's got that. It's fine. Switch, allocate, allocate. Then I want to allocate something level six here just to get extra things. You know what? Let's go with the good old default. Where are you, happy chonky? There we go. The best pet has been added. I will actually start clicking resistance nodes now. Level 37, new dagger tier. Additional damage to life. You know, damage, damage to life might be better than like random damage. Find out. It's a little lower, but what if I craft it up? What if I do this? Also, I'm seeing a lot of mana, surprisingly. I was thinking I couldn't go mana stack early. Do I just YOLO mana stack while leveling? That seems like such a bad idea. But also, it, it might work. Oh my god, there's so many things. All right, click the things. The thing. The thing and the thing and the... Oh! Oh, okay, they brought this back. Neat. What do I want to drop? I'll worry about that later. But basically, you just you either pick what you need for your build, or you pick the most expensive thing. Oh yeah, it's very easy. I'm just going to click all these things to get the arrows to go away, because there's legitimately way too many of them. Actually, you know, I don't care enough to click all the arrows. That's just going to be permanent now. It lives up there. It's going to bother people, but it's fine. This is another zone down. Poor guy, he was trying to do something to me, but he just couldn't. Ooh, that's almost good. Oh, wrong way. 
I'm maybe a little bit too fast. I blame Omniscient Prototype. Well, he's phased. But if I keep hitting him, it'll keep building stuff up on him. And he's dead. Ooh, cooldown recovery. Surely that's better. Nope, it was somehow worse. What about this? Nope, even worse. You know what? It being slightly worse is fine because it's cooldown recovery. Yeah, right? Boss mechanics in my ARPG. The nerve. Oh, another dagger. Probably not worth. Whoop. Yes. The new season started about an hour and a half ago. No. Wait. New note available. Yes. Oh, right. I have to fill this out. Do I want to go there? You know, I kind of feel like I don't need a little extra cast speed right now. And so instead, I'm just going to go bunch. Hmm. Onto the shrine. Summon clone to open. Well, he's going to say open doors for me, but he can't do that, sadly. Uh, it's one of the few things the clone can't do. Open doors. Here we go, loot zone. Pretty sure I could go all the way up to 45 and get my next talent here. Not like it'll take that long. I'm already almost two levels into it and I just did one quick old run through. Oh, look, two levels. <laughs> Sage's Foresight, don't need. Growth Ring, sure. Which do I replace? The second one. I replaced the second one. Oh, I should delete all this, because I don't need it. Goodbye, junk. I mean, people can foam of themselves all they want. That's kind of something people are very good at doing. Oh, let me through. <sighs> Telling you, man, doorways, they're the real enemy. But one thing ARPG players will never defeat is a door. They kill even the best of us. Ooh. Was that the right thing to... Yes, that was the right thing to replace. And I can upgrade the lightning to spells like so. If you have half-decent weapons, this just becomes an absolute joke. Oh no, my level is too low. So as my level is too low, I get reduced EXP now. The game has told me this. But watch my EXP bar here. 
Ooh, life. Oh, <laughs> a level up. Uh, I have a reduced EXP rate, but I still get a level of zone. Yeah, treasure troves may be a bit absurd. Just, just a bit. It's a lot of energy shield. Also, that's a lot of damage. All right, we're gonna put this on in this slot, which probably reduces my damage a little bit. And then this one over here, which bumps it up. And then click talent nodes because I haven't been doing that enough. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. This will be 22, 23, 24. And I've seen some speedrunners do very dirty things with doors. Like, glitch out of levels with them and other unethical heresies. So I don't know if all speedrunners hate doors. Some of them, you might say, uh, quite enjoy them. Ooh. That looks like an upgrade to me. Also, 600 armor. Sweet. Hmm. Oh, I should probably kill these guys. Mostly because they're doing damage to me while I'm trying to read the loot. Like, how dare they? Don't they realize I'm reading? What monsters. And clicking all the things. A couple of packed points to allocate. Uh, this. That. And then I get more movement speed next. I don't care about the hero trial yet. Skill slot vacant. I want magic dash here. I could unlock extra slots, but I'm so close. I'm just a few levels away from getting a sixth link on my main skill, which I think is more important than utility stuff. I don't know, utility stuff's probably better, but I'm greedy and want more damage, so. Yeah. I'm going to just run through here one last time. Not like it takes long. The double charge feels so much better. My skill's actually real now. Also, I've decided that, yes, I am going to go straight into mana stacking. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. This is why the guide doesn't go into mana stacking. Because you're supposed to do as I say, not as I do. I do have a random bad ideas. Because if I have a bad time until level 80, I'll just be like, eh, respec. And if the guide said to do it and it was a bad time, people would be like, the guide is bad. So, not going to do that. Because regular old spell burst, it'll give you a good time up to 80. At least once you get your set bonus. You do need to get your set bonus for Nether Realm to feel good now. Oh, right. See, I was expecting the door to open, and it didn't. Before I fight Lean, let's do a little cheeky get end talent and hero trait stuff. I bet I can just stand here on this one. There's no way I can't, right? Oh, yeah. See? No way I couldn't. Which now means, yes, actually Arcanist. Because that's how you go mana stack. Two, oh. Oh, uh, right. 23, 24. I suspect I can't just stand still here. Hmm. No. Well, probably yes, actually. Never mind. See, this is why I'm not worried too, too much about building for damage. 
So this is the higher damage option. Field effect is legitimately the way to go if you want the max DPS, because it's 20% additional cast speed and 20% additional damage dealt by the illusion while you're within space time. But I'm gonna go this, because it means the illusion is automatic and it casts faster, so it clears automatically for me way better. Mana boil. Uh, yes, Mania, thank you. And what else did I want to do here? Anything? Nope. Wait, skill slot still vacant. Uh, right an aura. Uh, I don't have any useful auras. Like, there's no way I do this, right? I guess it works. I guess technically it works. But very soon I'm going to replace that with something else, so it won't matter. Nope. Oh no, he's immune. Oh no. And he's not immune anymore. And now he's twinned. And now he's untwinned. And now we do the same to Keegan. Do I want to put on the ownerless? I feel like I have so much damage right now that I could probably afford to... Ooh, those gloves are sweet. They have life on them. That also has life. So, ownerless, probably not worth it just for the life. Like, who, who needs damage? Or, sorry, who needs defense when you have damage? That's what I meant to say. Who needs defense when you have damage? I've got a nice little clony boy up. Let's go beat up some heretics. Hello, heretic. Hi. Yes, I can see you're trying to pretend to be a god. We've talked about this before. You're not supposed to do that. Sit down. I should honestly probably use Thunder Imbue instead of Cold Imbue here. Because Thunder Imbue would actually do damage, whereas all Cold Imbue does is explosions. And does it look like I need more clear? It's funny you say that. The last time I played Erica, she was one of the goddamn tankiest characters I ever played because it was a life stacking Erica. Glorious Journey. That is the reflect chest that I don't care about because my chest currently gives me all the energy. So if it is a chest piece, I don't care. And act two down, one hour and 37 minutes, which is absolutely the fastest I've ever done it by a, a mile. Quests, claim all. Quests, claim all. Next chapter we go. I like how I'm here and my clone's already there waiting for me. It's beautiful. How many explosions is too many explosions, chat? Because there's a lot of explosions going on now. No, let me through. I feel like the upper limit to explosions occurs when you play Frostbitten Heart and you have so many explosions that you lag the game. That's the only true upper limit. It's when the servers tell you no.
Hmm. I think I can just keep going here. Almost a 50, and then I can swap my auras around to an actual setup, kind of. Mm, that means dropping some aura skills, but that's fine. I need what? Six talents? Mm, at 25, so seven talents. When I get seven talents, it'll be time to go do talent things again. But look at how automated <laughs> my build is already. This is why I was playing this character. It's like, who needs activation mediums? I'm just activation medium of build. See, this is where I would say activation mediums are for losers as a stream title or something, because it'd be funny to me. But I feel like I can't because the internet doesn't have a sense of humor and people would think I'm actually calling them losers. Which is not the point of that. So I won't do it. Okay. Talk to what's her face. Goodbye. He lasted a very little. Ooh. You know, I think it's time. I think it might be time to replace some of my gear with some of this stuff that I'm finding. Mostly because these are really nice pieces. Well, are Grace Boots better? Nah. Meh. Yeah, it doesn't feel like my movement changed. Probably because my actual movement speed doesn't matter when I'm constantly teleporting every couple seconds. I'd be teleporting faster if there's more enemies. But I need to freeze enemies and reset this. Okay, you're down, you're down, you're down. Demonic Scarlet Blade. Mm, not quite. Speaking of blades... Kind of wish Stellar Blade was coming to PC so I could try it. Because it looks like it could be a fun spectacle fighter. But I can't be bothered to get a PlayStation <laughs> just to play Stellar Blade. Well, actually, it's more of I can't be bothered to get a PlayStation. Also, PlayStations are expensive. Consoles in general are expensive. Hmm. So I guess the good news about a PlayStation is a lot of the games do overlap with PC. So it's not as necessary as it once was. Then again, Final Fantasy Rebirth not overlapping with PC. So maybe there is a reason. So if I got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you wouldn't see me for a long time. You'd be like, huh, where did Ten go? He hasn't made content in a couple months. And I'd be like, yeah, because I've been playing Final Fantasy. What do you want from me? Because you need them to use Spiral Strike. Hmm. 
Took a little damage there. That's slightly unfortunate. Hello. Do you get frozen before you do your... Yes. You get frozen before you do your thing. Good. That looks like an upgrade. Mana, skills, base damage, spell crit, additional against frozen. Ooh. That looks like it could be good. Also, why are you attacking me? So I remember this is the next loot grind zone. And this is where I'll get... Wait, a new main talent can be unlocked. Oh! We did it! We did it. Do I actually want Cold Pen at this level, though? You know, because I have a lot of crit stuff, and because I'm using a... No, I'm about to swap off the Fire Spirit. I shouldn't do that. I was like, I could actually use this for now. But nah... Hmm. Definitely not going to go Elemental Fusion. Yeah, there we go. Even more damage. So when you, you're asking about inserting a max roll build into a build code, do you mean how do you get your build code? Because you go to the account code settings in your menu. Oh, that's a lame ring. What do you mean how do you open a build once you've done that? Oh, wait, I could put on real auras. Uh, go away. Yep, frigid domain. I guess I leave flame imbue because I don't think I'll... Wait, no, I'll have plenty of mana, never mind. Let's see. You know... My damage is feeling fine. Let's go defensive here. It will actually make one concession to defenses here. Oh, look, another omniscient prototype. My new aura basically isn't doing anything right now. <laughs> the enemies are dying too far away. Oh no. I need more energy so I can give it support so I can increase its range so that I can have enemies get affected by it before they're one shot anyway. This is definitely a relevant... Oh, look. My aura did something. My aura did something, guys. Oh, I win. GG. Build enabled. Crit damage per stack of focus blessing owned. Yes. And, oh, I have to respec if I'm going to go mana. That's a good point. I don't want to pick anything up yet. I guess I could go cast speed skill cost. Or just cast speed. Play safe and now. Let's see. Okay, so until I get mind focus, it doesn't matter. So I might as well just go with damage. So many things to click, all the things leveled up. 
Wait, skill slot vacant. Oh. Damn it, it's baiting me. Wait. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I don't have any of the supports I can use. Okay. We'll fix that shortly. And hopefully I get just a little bit more energy on gear. Because I can do something really cool... You will notice that I basically now have infinite spell burst. Because it turns out Surging Inspiration Prototype is a good item. Ooh, Chain of Resistance. I actually think that's better at this point than Pentagram Astrolabe. Mostly because it's speed. Wait, do I actually have a mana cost now? Uh, I shouldn't have a mana cost. Oh no, it's just the drain. Because I don't have the amulet regen. I don't think I can get any elsewhere. Hero's necklace. Hmm, probably should have looked out for that. Eh, it's fine. I'll just hit my potion every once in a while. I feel like at level 54, I'll be good here. Dagger. Not a good dagger. Okay, that amulet does not have mana regen on it, just mana regen speed. Hmm. I do not need to do a hero trial yet, but pack point. Now let's start getting some loot. I go three here, then immediately go into the attack and speed. Like so. Time to go fight King Lionheart. I wonder if he'll see it coming. Spoiler alert, he won't. And goodbye, buddy. I think after he smashes a couple more times, he'll realize he's dead here. There we go. Hello, Esmeralda. Yeah, the treasure trove of kind of break all that. Because if you don't go in them, things will actually take quite a bit of time. But like, why wouldn't you? It's it's for free loot zone.
Hmm. Oh, whoops. Okay. Got the thing right. No, I didn't. Need to click it. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. Oh, that graphic for my clone's tripping out. He was not happy. Not a happy clone. Wait. I thought I clicked it there. Okay, I'm slightly confused. Oh, did I not click enough of the stupid things? Maybe that was a problem. Yeah, that was a problem. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. It's fine, we got this. I guess there goes my two hour split. I legitimately don't know if it matters which symbol you step on there. Of all the times I've done it, you'd, you'd think I'd know, but it never feels like it matters. Spell crit dot attack. I mean, I am constantly using attacks, but no thank you. Hmm. Feel like oh right, it's not here. It's wait, yes, it is right here. Yeah. I was gonna say, I feel like my skills are just a little too bright at the moment. I'm gonna turn that down just a tad. Look, treasure trove, hall of grandiosity. It's the next one. It's the next free loot zone right before Paloma. Oh, right. Have to talk to the guy first. Right, right. I'm just getting very ahead of myself because I know I'm almost done leveling. Hmm. He tried to fight me back. Didn't go well for him. Path of a champion. Now we go back and now we pick left or right. There we go. All right, this is the kill the guys. I should maybe pay slightly more attention then, but only slightly. Kill all the things. Oh yeah, I should turn on mana boil. Keep forgetting to turn it on. I can speed through here. It's up here that I have to care, right? Because locked door. Yep, locked door. Now as enemies spawn, they just instantly pop. Oh no, I've been locked in with these guys that do things. Oh, and he's dead. And he's dead. All right, 
Yes. Both died. Good. You know, I forgot that was even a door. <laughs> okay. This one might take a little effort. Let's find out. Though, so, standing in all the bad stuff's probably a bad idea. Maybe I shouldn't have been doing that. Didn't seem that terrible, though. Okay. Anything good here? No. Now, over here we go. Ideally, without getting stuck. Oh no, it's a trap. Except, not really. They're, they're just all trapped in here with me until they die. Now that I'm so fast, I do kind of wish these doors weren't a thing. Oh my god, what a dumb taken world chat. If it's not 500 billion, it's trash DPS. You don't even need 500 billion for 99% of the content in the game. <laughs> People are so weird. I mean, that's a tempting chess piece. All right, time to kill the two little guardians off to the sides. Hello, the upper has been turned into the downer. Oh, God damn it! I was reading loot. No, I was reading loot. I feel so betrayed right now. All right, whatever, that loot can just live there on the floor. Not dying again for it. Telling you, traps, deadliest thing right now. Mostly because I didn't respect them even a little bit, but yeah, traps are kind of deadly. I've passed the test. Oh yeah, I can also do something fun now. Never mind, I can't, I don't have energy. If I had energy, I could do something fun. Statue of War. Let's go. Zoom, zoom. Join the stars. I know who you are. I mean, realistically, I'll just give either of them my allegiance because I don't care. But I happen to be closer to the stars this time, so stars were picked. Hoping to keep the God of War up for more AoE, but uh, not enough enemies. Too many gates. Too much time gating. Unfortunate. The literal sense of things here. Not everybody? No? Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hmm. 
All right, time to just do a little AOE here. This is why I like extra AOE. Do the hero trial at 60. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Depending on what you mean, maybe yes, maybe no. Yes, this game is pretty free to play friendly, though I would recommend the battle pass. And also there are a couple of mechanics like City of Eterna that I wouldn't recommend farming if you don't have a pet. Most things though, not a huge deal. And if you have a battle pass, you'll have 90% of what you want. It's a lot of loot. Don't really need it though. I like this, the queen's blessing grants enormous power boosts. Hmm. Okay, let's go through here. The new class or new hero trait is always locked behind the battle pass. Others are sold, but if you have the battle pass, they're unlocked for the season. You can buy them individually for $15 or earn them for 100 hero tokens. But again, as long as you have a battle pass for the season, doesn't matter because you have it anyway. I wouldn't really consider it like a paywall any more than something like League of Legends is. Just like how when you play League, you can unlock your favorite champion by playing the game, but you can't unlock all of the champions unless you play a lot for a long time. Come on, go active. There we go. Does this matter? No, this does not matter. Yes, the character that I'm playing right now, for example, is one of the base characters available for free. He's also one of the strongest characters in the game. In fact, two of the strongest, like five characters right now are completely free. The exact number does vary a bit season to season. Overall though, I would say there's generally a good mix. Yeah, no more of that, please. Darn enemies. Oh, never mind. It's traps. Forget reading the loot. Oh, I should not stop there. That was a mistake. You know what? We're just going to go here. Because we're safe behind the wall. Yep, there are Maxwell guides. For example, one of them, the one I'm currently playing, is in the pinned comment. All right, it wouldn't let me pin earlier on Twitch. Let me see if I can fix that now. Nope, unable to pin. All right, well, Twitch doesn't want to work, but there you go, Twitch chat, that's a build.
wonder if I'll get Jumble Ice here. That'd be a nice thing to have for bosses. Probably not going to use it while clearing, though. Mostly because, uh, yeah. Pentagram. Cool. Oh, right. I have to clear some of these because there's too many things. I don't have my clickies to level up all the skills. Good timing for music, though. Hmm. It's going to hurt a little bit. Yep, that's going to hurt a lot. Forget a little bit. Goodbye. Oh, Lone Survivor. That doesn't really help me at the moment. What am I looking out for here? That's a legitimately cool chess piece. I think I just want EXP up to 60. Oh, oh, okay. You know, maybe I just shouldn't be wasting my time fighting rare monsters because it's not like they give that much more experience. Or at least those guys specifically. Yeah, he's only worth 2% of a level. I'd rather just go through and kill like eight more things that each give 1% of a level. Like this. So much better EXP there. Oh, we got one. Crit strike. Life and spell damage. But I bet I can increase that spell damage by a bit. Yeah, like that. Hmm. Yeah, the damage to attacks and spells isn't that relevant anymore. No, oh, there we go, 60. That means I do my next hero trial. Mm, nothing super interesting here. Let's see what the talents give me. One, two, sure. Oh, interesting. It wants me to take, huh, the crit and then go into that. Uh, very confusing because it works differently from most ARPGs. Because it's based off of base damage and reaping. Which reaping is not damage. Reaping is life removal. It does not scale off of many things that scale your damage. And that's why Dot is confusing. But if you're a more experienced player, then it shouldn't be too, too bad.
it is primarily for people who are either very casual players or very new. That warning, anyway, not Dot. Dot is for pretty much everyone. But Extra does a good job of explaining it in the guide, so it's really not too, too bad. But warning's mostly there because some people will be confused because of how Dot works. But just from the way you phrase things, I get the feeling you're more of a veteran, in which case you'll be fine. No, I already have a surging, but you know what? Maybe this one has more ES or something. Because this is 101, and that's... Oh, yeah, that's way better. I lost a little energy. I think that's fine. And I'm going to lock the Jumble Ice prototype. So much EXP. Hmm. It feels like I got weaker when I swapped that. I wonder why. I wonder if it's saying where I have to rezone. Well, I have now rezoned. Oh, no, I know why. I must have let my mana boil fall off because I wasn't paying attention to my mana. That would do it. Oh, yeah, if you have a few thousand hours in Pewee, you'll be fine. But quite a few people who come to Torchlight Infinite either haven't played very many ARPGs before because they're from a mobile game background, or their only experience with an ARPG is something like Diablo Immortal, which, let me tell you right now, that ain't going to prep you for the mechanics that Torchlight Infinite has. If you're coming from Pewee, though, you're fine. That's 14. Level up all the things here. Skill slot vacant. Oh. Oh, look. I can do this now. Except I'm not going to do this one. Because why would I do this one when I could do this one? Actually, I should make sure this actually still works. Uh, so the way that I do this, really easy to test. So it's when you're only affected by one aura. And let's just double test to make sure this hasn't been fixed. Nope, it has not been fixed. How close am I to another 93? So two off. Hmm. Hmm. The gameplay doesn't feel very mobile centric. The UI might make you think otherwise, but the gameplay feels a lot more like PoE. She's like, fine, fine, I'll get up and do it myself. My servant, as usual, is useless. Well, you know what? Get a face full of this, Paloma. And that's the end of Paloma. 
So now we go beat up the true baddie behind all this, Ordrac. Yes, I am cheating here. I'm getting my last, or not my last, but my next hero trait right before Ordrak because uh, I'm going to kill him faster. I'm going to get to do much. No, you are not. Oh. Yeah, if I dodge into a fire, that actually does damage to me. Probably shouldn't do that. Oh, uh, I'm so ahead of a DPS check there. Cool. And now I get this. Now I just need more spell skill level. Remember how I said he's gotten buffs? That's one of them. No, no, the dragon is spitting at me. Whatever will I do? Oh, wait, the dragon is already phased. Can the dragon be phased faster, please? Thank you. Got slightly stuck there. Oh. I was like, you're supposed to be dead. What are you doing? He is now officially dead. All right, campaign done. That was two hours and 22 minutes, which... Honestly, really fast for me. It definitely made that part faster. Look, I got a thingy. Oh, that's a teleport. Oh, God. That's so garish. I don't know about that one. Should probably get rid of these. Okay. What do I get? Additional one-handed melee weapons or additional trinkets. Let's go additional trinkets. Because it's time to start swapping off of the random junk that I'm wearing. And onto a set bonus. I wonder, how much does my prototype surging sell for? Wait, no. Uh, what else do I want to potentially sell? This. Pretty sure versions with energy will actually be worth quite a bit. Now, uh, you definitely don't need to take all the items on the floor. In fact, I don't recommend picking up most items. Which reminds me, I need a new loot filter to yoink for this season.
Getting a lot of beacons. Pretty smooth. It's a lot of armor. Right. Uh, just give me a second. I need to take some notes here. So. Okay. We're good. Do this. Ooh. Let's see. God of Machines, give me something good. By good, I mean experience. Give me that juicy, juicy experience. I don't think I'll do all three, but I think I'll do two here. None of that loot was good. All right, let's get more Mistville progress. I'd really rather you not. Okay, had to kill all that stuff because that's EXP. No, no, bad enemy. Okay, problem solved. Frozen rain. Ooh, frostbite inflicted. It's kind of neat. Let's see, 15 and 16. Additional max mana, additional damage to frozen. Yes, frostbite is 100% of the way here. Elemental Whisper Belt's kind of not that great anymore. So I should look for a replacement on it. Okay. Hmm. So I'm going to guess spell casting weapons does count sacrifice daggers? I don't actually know. Oh, wait. Never mind. I can click it. And yes, it does. So that's what we do. Like I can see the rare even before it spawns in. I'm just like, nope, I'm out of here. You have fun with that, buddy. Wait, can I do another Mistville or does 
Does it require a hundred now? Cool. Oh, it wiped out my energy shield, but not my life. Pretty good. Oh, oh, never mind. I can definitely do a mist fill. In fact, I can do multiple. So I'm going to do that. There we go. That almost looks... Mm, I think it's better. It's gotta be better, right? So that was about the same as that. Interesting. And I can enhance it, right? Yes. Yeah, how do I get more of this? Is it just drops or can I get it up a vendor? Let's find out. Yes, you get it with quartz grain. Okay, and recycle all that. Talk to Maud, skip. Yes, yes, gear empowerment, blah, blah, blah. Is there anything worth empowering here? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Five out of 15, let's try again. 15 out of 15, perfect. Because that lets me do some fun stuff here. Because now I can open up Concentrated on Frigid Domain for even more damage. Then I can open up Protection Field here, like so, and get additional defenses. And then what else do I want? I can put one more thing on. Oh, Harden. Yeah. Hmm. It is a little bit awkward to use. Now, one thing... Ah, uh, no one's put a loop filter in yet. Right, give me just a second. I have to go grab... See, I almost just grabbed the Hades 2 technical test. Which, uh... <laughs> as much as I would enjoy listening to that as background, I don't know that I should inflict that on everyone else. So let's grab... A different OST. There we go. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I've gone with the wait for someone else to do the loot filter, then yoink it strategy. So I don't know how to make one. And the longer that I go without knowing how to make one, the better. Because then I can't answer people's questions about making them. So I cannot help with that. Explore, explore. I, that was a waste. I shouldn't have done that too early. It's fine though. We got the clock tower. Yeah, sometimes it's just better not knowing. Exactly. Cool. So basically, if it hits me, I drop the eye.
Oh, that's unfortunate. It got silenced. Sanity recovered and <laughs> flame elementium. First flame elementium obtained. Easy game. Also, those are sweet boots. What the hell? Those are actually good. They even have aura effect on them. Those are insane. Day two. Okay. I will not immediately click that. Okay, so that's just sealing the eight nearby. Okay, I can recover here. Uh, clear this one. And what do I get? Built the Eater's Token. 10% chance to obtain one random old stuff when removing a bad omen Stella. And then obtain additional coins equal to 10% of your current coins when... I'm probably not going to have enough coins. So, okay, clock tower, sanity, go, go to clock tower. First two days, real smooth. But this is where things start to get rough. Oh, it doesn't like me. Seals off four cells, click to remove it. When this is present, you cannot consume food. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have food. All right, that's just the eight one. Oh, thank goodness it's a sanatorium. And it's the clock tower. I'm not going to gamble. It's gates, right? Yes. Just go here, kill kill dudes? Yes. Go here, kill dudes. Oh, there's more dudes to kill. Hmm. It's actually a really cool effect around that guy for his attack. Wonder if that's a new skill we'll get at some point. All right, that's one out of three closed. Could you not charge off screen? I'd appreciate that. It's two out of three. And the timer's completely fine. If I get an activation medium, I'm going to try something. Nope, but I did get another Flame Elementium, which is interesting. Seems like this is the easiest way to get early game Flame Elementium. Mostly because it's guaranteed, or seems to be. All right. The fact that I haven't hit anything yet is kind of scaring me. From now on, recover sanity based on coins. Yes, gimme. Wow. We actually have a clock tower. But now is Oh, this is a brutal one. To seven coins, yes. What's this alchemy workshop? I don't have enough coins to upgrade anything. Sanatorium, another sanatorium. How lucky can he get? His luck might be running out. Oh. Uh, do I keep 
I think I do. I just need the curse because, oh, I do not have the sanity for this. Yeah, GG, dead. My luck ran out. Deduction record. Let's see, items dropped. Additional sanity. 4% chance to be doubled. Initial coins. Initial max. Definitely going to get more intel here. Because more intel helps me progress faster. You know what? Let's do that again. Because this is getting me very little in terms of nether realm progress, but a lot in terms of EXP. I mean, and loot. Recover 20 sanity when a new day begins. Yes. Food. Yes. Use. All right, I have to clear that, which is unfortunate. I don't have to clear that one. Go to Clock Tower. I'm curious about something. I want to try this. I think it's a bad idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. Oh, wait. I already have one. I just want to see how Secret Origin Unleashed feels. This is a problem of Secret Origin Unleash. It has such low uptime. Hmm. Actually, wait. Oh, wait, I'm not consuming mana right now. I was like, why am I not getting any blessings? I stopped consuming mana. Oh, no. I actually, I messed my stuff up. Whoops. Yeah, never mind. We're going back to mana boil. How's it going, Mel? All right. We fixed it. I don't feel like rearranging my build to the point where I can actually try that. <laughs> uh, since this season. Co-op is brand new. Oh, that's such a mean first thing to discover. Never mind. This is just a mean run. Okay. Good morning, Lodador. I hope you slept well. I'm uh, currently losing my sanity. While exploring Mistville. Uh, sacrifice for 30 coins. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Sanatorium. I can't use that. Wait, where the heck? Uh, found it. Okay. I'm not 100% sure if it's available during the campaign. I didn't check. It's definitely available after, though. Quantity of old stuff and food sold is plus one. Revealed cells not affected. Preview the location of one bank when a day begins. All right, I'm going to preview banks. Recover six sanity. Yes. All right, that's another curse zone. It's a sanatorium. Good. It's a bank. That's an alchemy workshop that I still can't afford, unfortunately. Sanatorium. 
Clock tower. We go to the clock tower. All right, so since I'm doing weird stuff with my leveling progression, I think I will go down here just to fix my mana. Wait, do I even need to know? I can drop some of the attack and cast speed for just pure cast speed, right? Yes. Like this. And then take Frostbitten again. There we go. Mana solved. I don't feel like fixing it on my amulet right now. Did I fail at clicking? Yes, I think I failed at clicking. There we go. Oh, was that a 600,000? Interesting. Didn't think my hits, even in aggregate, could get that high right now. Eh, I guess I was a 400k, never mind. All right, sanity recovered, chest of folklores, more elementium. And a pretty nice pair of gloves. Oh my god, those are nice. All right, you go on. Energy shield, but still. Oh, I can preview like so. So I knew that was a bank. Senatorium. Very bad curse. Alchemy bench that I won't spend on yet. Oh, that's another bank. Okay, now I will spend here. Oh, wait, that's a trader, not alchemy bench. Is the trader the same? Oh, no. The other one's trader, this one's alchemy. Got it. So I could upgrade this to preview the location of all banks or preview the location of all all food that upgrades into it'll all just be revealed oh i'm doing that one fragrant cat food removes some wait can i upgrade it no it costs slightly too much all right i'll just move on okay so i know food's here which means i can actually all evil. All sanatoriums become banks. I don't think I want that. Okay, I found the clock tower. Do I spend sanity on this? No. But now I can see the location of all banks. I can go to the clock tower and... Fight, what, a monster? Advent of Folklores. I probably should have read. Oh. Kill the Folklore Incarnation at the end. Gotcha. Do I have to, like, fight your way through here? Ooh. With how low my life is getting, it almost feels like I should replace my potion with Force Start. So let's do that real quick. Spell, attack. I really wish you could alphabetically sort these or just type things. And wait, <laughs> why can that be supported with this? 
Lower duration, higher effect. Lower duration does not lose deflection when you're hit while the skill lasts. That's kind of cool. Nah, I'm just going to go defense layers. And unlock something else here. Do I have enough mana? Mm, mana doesn't actually matter. Never mind. Iron Fortification. Ooh, that's just a thousand. Well, not free armor, but. Okay. And now I have a thing that will recharge my shield. Because I'm apparently going an energy shield build for a little bit. There we go. Chest of Folklores. That, that seems like just a straight upgrade. Okay. Gonna do that. And wait. Mm, that won't change anything. Okay. Bench time. Let's see if I survive this day. That's a lot of banks. It's good to know. God damn it. Okay, fine. We'll go through here. Oh, good. Sanatorium not punished. This way, at least I get coins. A lot of coins, actually. Okay, sanatorium. Now we're just guessing. And we have a clock tower. Go to clock tower. Hey, how's it going? I'm pretty good. Uh... Mm, 10 is a lot. I don't think I'm completing this. 50, oh good God. I'm not gonna click the bank. Well, I guess I have to. That's really unfortunate. I have to clear the curse, which means if this is not a sanatorium, I lose. I lose. Oh, at least I lasted five days that time. All right, back to the nether realm for a bit. Need to progress. I will get some extra points, though, for the next time I do it, because it was very, very, very rewarding. I should probably pick these up. You know, maybe it doesn't matter. Don't actually know. Damage feels solid still. Now we go out and we fight the Watcher and see what we get. I'm going to hope for a shiny. I don't know what shiny I'm hoping for, but a shiny. Ooh. Voyager set. Does that mean I'm going to have to do... That's one thing I don't like. The cards that appear often make me feel like I should just stay in a lower time mark. Damage is feeling good. Uh, 
All right. Skip time mark two. Maybe I'll get set bonuses. I don't think I'm using any loot filter for a moment now. I'm mostly just ignoring loot on the ground at this point. Minus flame elementium. Actually, I might have been defaulted to a filter that I used last season. So maybe I am using a loot filter right now, and I just don't know it. Although in terms of upgrades, I have an idea. See if I can find something in a second here. Uh, do you have the correct trait that enables autocast? That requires a specific hero trait, so depending on the level, it may not be enabled yet. The main issue of a last season filter is for a while they all broke. So I don't know. Let's see. Wait, I can't even use that one. Never mind. I shouldn't be using that. That's like uber strict. Uh, let's just go intermediate for now. I'm legit not going to look at it for a while. So whatever. Oh yeah, I was going to check something of a trade house. And then I got distracted. How hard does that hit? Oh, not hard at all. Okay. It's good to know. Uh, advanced. Weapon. Sacrificial blade. Oh. Oh, well, okay. Guess it's too early for that. Uh, After select one of these, uh, that's. That's probably one of the little things. No, oh, wrong button. All right, boss over here. Hmm. Next round. Okay, Voyager's set. Chest armor or belt. And I want both, so either one is fine. That is a rather tanky rare. It's okay, though. I'm blasting.
Wait a minute. Oh, oh, that's some. I was like, yellow text. Is there an announcement? But no, that's just someone who's uh, teaming up with people. Got it. New level up. Yep, damage is looking good. And I can just tank stuff. Uh, where was I going to go next? Here, right, 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 right. Is there anything where I can borrow points? Nope, not really. Wait, yes, don't need that. Cool. Plus one focus. Easy, easy. Then I can get some... I don't think I want minus skill cost, actually. Anything I want to get plus skill cost. This means I could potentially respect these two. Yes, because I can do this, this. Wait, this is four, isn't it? Never mind. I'm one short. Damn it. It's like, that's a better thing to take now. Well, I guess it both is and isn't. I should probably just do a full respect to mana when I go mana. Oh. Never mind. This is what I already cleared. Whoops. Hmm. I'm going to skip building infection for a little bit. until I at least have my two-piece. Hmm. Should replace this with another buff skill if I'm not going to hit the button. I really should just be hitting the button, though, because it's so much faster. Like, look at this speed. Now we start the God of War. Oh, belts obtained. The stats are honestly really good on it. Like really good. Look, I'm a real end game build. I'm only limited by how often I get stuck on terrain while using my movement skills. Okay, do that. Dust all this.
Uh, new talents. I could do the swap thing that I wanted now, but I shouldn't. I should just stick to this until... Until I go properly into mana. Let's just get faster. Hey, how's it going, Alex? Uh, I miss Watcher Time. All right, Let's see how this goes. Uh, so when you say your battle pass, are you on the free pass? Because the free pass won't, but the paid pass will. And you can collect things from both. Wait, uh, oops. So basically, if you're getting stuff from here, this is the free one that doesn't give new Erica. If you're getting stuff from here, this gives new Erica. Oh, ow. Okay, that was dumb of me. Okay. And uh, no hardy metal. You don't have to finish anything. You can just make a seasonal character and start playing from level one. Right, so. So let's see. Ah, well, <laughs> huh. That's a bit of an issue then, Alex. And unfortunately, I don't know how to help with that because mine just worked. Actually, oh, that's a good question. I haven't logged out to test. Uh oh, am I going to find out that I. It can't make the new character. Let's find out. We're doing some science to help a friend. Let's see. So, skip. All right. Hmm. Yeah, so... It isn't counting as having the battle pass unlocked for you, Alex, which is very, very weird. Yeah, that, unfortunately, that is beyond my ability to troubleshoot, but I do know someone that you can send a message to who is probably not going to be super excited to hear from you, but hey, that's fine. Wait, it just said I got beacons. Oh, is that what it meant? That after the first quest, it tells you you get for beacons, but you don't actually get for beacons? Oh, no. Wait, no, I have the beacons. Oh, because it's steel and... Wait, it gave me steel beacons. What the heck? All right, well, the quests definitely still give beacons, unlike what the patch notes said. Good to know.
Unfortunately, the crafting thing that was in the patch notes is correct. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, I'm mad too, but for other reasons. <laughs> so, Alex, remember how I said there's a whole crafting system that was mentioned in the patch notes? But that we couldn't test? Yeah, all those changes are actually a thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, I was not paying attention. Whoops. Yeah, don't stand next to those guys. Those guys hurt. Those guys hurt a lot. That makes me wonder if all the battle passes are defective or just yours. Or if mine worked because I got it from completing the preseason battle pass. Uh, yes, we update after we figure it out. I'm hoping that the system is as straightforward as it looks and the only thing the currency is used for is upgrading affix tiers, in which case I can do that uh, tomorrow and it's no big deal. But if there's any other parts to it that were not mentioned, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping it's as straightforward as it looks. Cause I here, I can even show you what it is. So it used to be that to upgrade these affixes cost flame sand and stuff. And now it costs ground quartz for lower tier affixes. I'm pretty sure the only actual difference is if you're upgrading a tier seven, six, five up to four, it costs the lower currency which will not take long to fix. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that it is the doesn't take long to fix and there's not more than a missing. But, you know, uh, whoops, just clicked. The other thing that I'm a little worried about is at least one of the treasure zone rewards was changed. So I'm hoping more weren't. Yeah. It's always the fun Easter eggs that you don't expect. <laughs> Luckily, at least in the case of yoga, the item that was changed doesn't matter. Because I wasn't recommending that people use it anyway. And it was also weird because it was a level 58 item, so... You know, hopefully it's fine. In fact, I almost put a disclaimer for people to avoid it. Yeah. But it's fine. Hey, welcome on in. New round. Give me, yes, Voyagers. Voyagers set helmet or boots. Oh, give me boots. Don't give me helmet. No helmet. No hat. If it's my two piece, do I. I don't want to have to think about that. I don't want to have to think about surging. Hmm. Is your plan to stay Icy Ring or reroll into something else? Because if your plan is to stay Icy Ring Yoga, if your plan is to reroll something else, what do you plan to reroll into? Ooh. Stay Icy Ring Yoga. 
Thea Icy Ring is fine as a late game build, but where she really excels is snapshot builds. And so re-rolling would be ideal on her. Whereas on Yoga, you can kind of just change how your damage scales, go into mana, go into blessings, and take Icy Ring all the way. Hmm. I have not played Pewee Necropolis now. I heard very mixed things about it. Ooh, do I want freeze duration? I kind of do. Or do I just go for the mana? Maybe neither. Actually, maybe neither. You're welcome. Just a second, I'm taking a screenshot for a friend. A good tank free-to-play build. Do you have any hero emblems? Yes, I ended up skipping Necropolis. Because with everything coming out, I wouldn't have had very much time to play anyway. Like, I would honestly be done even if Acropolis was a really good league with the league as of today. Because between No Rest for the Wicked and Torchlight Infinite, there's no way I have time to go back and do more PoE stuff. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to give it a pass. So, I could have sworn that new accounts got 100 hero emblems for free. If that's the case, what I would do is recommend Lightbringer Rosa. If you don't have 100 hero emblems, then I would recommend Anger Rahan and going a train build. Train Rahan is very, very good and very free-to-play friendly. Hmm. Do I want freeze duration or frostbite? I want frostbite. You know, that rare is not worth killing. I'm not even going to pick up the loot he drops anyway, and he can't drop FE, so why am I bothering? Got to go faster. And which trial am I not going to skip in the next one? I think it's might. Pretty sure it's might, which means I'm going to have to play with the floor. Hmm, seeing that could actually kill me. Let's just not bother. Pop. It's totally going to be might. That's my least favorite trial. And it is... Trial God of Might. I knew it. Oh, no. That's fine. Well, it's fine so long as I find the darn thing. Hmm. Uh, I do not like puddles on the ground. Hmm. Yes. Steep strike builds on Gemma are still a thing. Oh. Oh, goddammit. 
floor is bad. Oh no, am I going to fail it? Okay, thank goodness I'm close enough. Guys, could we not stand in the floor puddles, please? I know I keep freezing you in place, but I would prefer if you didn't stand in the floor puddles. Oh, it's goggles. No, no. Oh, no. This is a complete disaster. I'm going to be honest with you. I uh, generally don't look at the pets. Before these all hit me, I'll just roll away. Or whirl away. Okay. How much of a DPS loss is this? All right. We're going to go hit the dummy for a second. See how this goes. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14. Okay, 740. Oh, okay. <laughs> that set bonus is so strong. Oh my God. Yeah, I think I'm not using replica surging. RIP. It's a really good item. This is just better. <laughs> this is just... Yeah. <laughs> Plus two spell skill level. Kind of kind of awesome. I feel like Hanpy is more like Claptrap. Where even if he's sacrificed later for plot reasons, it's fine. Which, speaking of, I never played Borderlands 3. Did Claptrap get sacrificed for plot reasons? Asking for a friend. I was going to say, surely I can tank this on a Tier 3 Watcher. And, uh, yes, I can tank this on a Tier 3 Watcher. Hmm. That's half of my health. Nope. Damage fell off just a little bit there, but it's overall fine. Very true. Which is why, if he was ever being particularly annoying, I just went up some stairs. Right in front of him, of course. All right, I'll advance this to time mark four. Oh, another Voyager set. Chest armor or belt. But I'm going to start pushing this up. So, oh, uh, never mind. No, I'm not. On to time mark four. And... Yep. No, no, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh.
I think I need just a little more damage now. And I'm not using Frigid much, so it's time to swap Frigid for something that adds DPS. I mean, in theory, I could just drop this, but this is so much survivability that I'd rather not. Um, do I do this? Wait, why would it tell me? To what the heck, game guide? It's so bad. Do not do this. Do not do that. That is very, very bad. You definitely do not want self-sacrifice there. All right. I can do this and this and see. That's so little. Huh. I'll put Aura Amp on both of these. Oh, insufficient energy. I wanted to put Mark there, because that way my little dude can just mark stuff. New talent available. I'll keep filling out this. Pack point available. I mean, if you prefer, you can still use uh, whatchamacallit. Resurrecting Warcry. The only problem there is it has a cast time. But yeah, you do have to choose. You can't use potions anymore because they're gone. So you either have to choose between has a cast time or no charges. Right. Having this eat my blessings isn't actually that bad. I was doing the thing again where I was holding the wrong button. I was like, why do I feel so slow? Because I was holding down my spell burst button instead of my movement skill button. I'll do it. I think it's to counteract the fact that characters had too much recovery. But it kind of is like the treasure troves. In theory, I get where they're coming from. And I don't have a problem with the philosophy behind it. Because the philosophy behind it was that veterans want a more challenging experience instead of repeating something really easy over and over again. The beginners can't deal with something as challenging because they need to be eased into the game. In practice, it's going to be the opposite, that beginners will have a more challenging experience and experts will have super giga easy mode because experts are just going to go to the treasure troves and farm. And not every new player, like if you don't read a Maxwell guide, you might not realize that you're supposed to massively overlevel zones using treasure troves and get all the loot. And so it ultimately kind of ends up working against the design intent, the way it was implemented because of player psychology. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, what? T1 life. Okay. Uh, we spam this until we get movement speed. Or run out of flame sand. Probably until we run out of flame sand, to be fair. Never mind. Cool. 
And now we put those on because those are a serious upgrade. And so if this is the belt, it's a repeat, but if it's chest, we win. Oh, my energy's gonna get destroyed. No. Uh, I might have to actually pay attention a little. It's belts. Okay. So that'll be just a buy the rolls kind of deal. Shouldn't stand in that. I was apparently able to, but I definitely shouldn't make that a habit. Ooh, shiny black cell compass. All right, so higher implicit, but lower explicit. Not worth. Wait, can I sell this? No, this item cannot be traded. Okay, good to know. To the trade house to see A, if any of my stuff sold. It did not. And B, if I can get the weapon that I want now. Uh, spell skill. No item found. Okay, this is scaring me. Why Why are none of these showing up? Maybe I'm just that fast. I'm gonna hope I'm just that fast. Adjust trait deck. Sure, let's add those, save. Next round, trinkets. Funny how this character just feels like an endgame build in Time Mark 4. I'm already getting too lazy to pick up the commendation letters because they aren't auto pick up. And it's probably going to be like, turn five of them in for one flame sand. Hmm. I shouldn't face tank that. I probably could, but I shouldn't. Okay, bosses don't feel quite endgame build yet. Let's see. What event does the thing... Oh. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, it's probably going to be five flames and no, it's actually good stuff this time. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I am going to have to buy these then. Or not buy them, but pick them up. Oh. The Ring of Ice is around me. It's just also around my clone. And then any recursions from Spellburst target enemies directly. Same as trigger skills. So they end up around enemies as well. Let's go. Boss health go burr. Hmm. Base wilt. Freeze duration. Reap amulet. Hmm. 
this feels like a I just throw it up for a random price thing and see if anyone buys it. Mostly because of a base wilt. Uh, definitely EXP. Install, save, and... Right. I don't think I'm going to take the smack on this time, Mark. It'd probably be fine. But just in case. Mm, it's a little bit of damage. Oh, wow. She almost never does that move. I'm pretty sure that is her rarest move. I'm also pretty sure there are plenty of people who have played Torchlight Infinite since Season 1. Never seen that move from her. Because you really only see it when your DPS is super low at the start of a season. Oh, that didn't go off. Oh, no. My force start didn't go off. Hmm. Okay. Fixed. All right, not bad. Uh, I do want to change my supports, though, here. So defense layers, good. Armor infusion, meh. Let's see. Reclusion? No. Meditation. While well, standing still. Nah, I'm just going to go... Uh, iron fortification, yes. Because now that these don't have downsides, they're pretty darn good. All right. Steel Forge unlocked. And Steel Forge's initial is four. So. go helmet or boots which we hope for boots we can only lose so many coin flips that's a dangerous thing to say actually because last time i played honkai star rail i pulled double acheron in the same 10 pull and so now i'm pretty sure i can lose a lot of coin flips so maybe i shouldn't say that If you're wondering, but Ten, why did you play Honkai Star Rail? Uh, D4 made me do it. Because they basically took the artifact enhancement from Genshin slash Star Rail. And so I was like, here, I want to show people where this came from. And uh, yeah. So I had to download the game. And I was like, you know, I might as well pull on the Acheron banner. <laughs> and I, I now have E1 Acheron for no good reason. It's okay, if I ever play again, I now have the single most overpowered character in the open world because her technique just insta-kills anything, which, uh, yeah, makes farming fast and easy.
I actually was kind of savage towards the master working system, mostly because all the other changes were really good. And so it stuck out like a sore thumb or more accurately stuck out like a rusty nail in comparison to the rest of the systems. Goodbye, Mr. Boss. I should actually see how much impact Secret Origin Unleash has. I kind of feel like it's not worth it right now because it's eating my blessings. But it could actually be doing more than I think. Oh, wait, I didn't have my mana boil on. All right. Gonna do like a quick 10 second test. Okay, 2.5. Now I'm gonna do another 10 second just using Secret Origin. It basically doesn't do that much, okay. I mean, it shot up right towards the end. But overall, it's not that impactful. I'm going to go Arcane Circle. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Or... Mm, there's no way I can get this duration long enough, though. Because it's three seconds of debuff for ten seconds of cooldown, and I'm not Warlock. Nah. If I was Warlock, oh yeah, that's what we'd be doing. I kind of figured this is what I'd be doing. And this is what I put in the guide because it is a better way. But you know what? Sometimes you just have to test the bad stuff so that you know what's good. Oh no. Why is my Arcane Circle tooltip there? Please go away, tooltip. Um, this wasn't the fourth where I have to... Wait. Alright, there we go. I feel like my Traveler 7 viability is just 100% going to come down to how quickly I get my set bonus. Though, actually, I get extra damage now. Hmm. I forgot about that. Looks like I can go get these. One thing that's crazy to think about, though, on a normal Torchlight season start before this one, I would have been finishing the campaign about now. I'm already in, like, time mark five, where I was finishing the campaign before. So much faster. I didn't pay attention for a second there, and my entire energy shield deleted itself. Good news is I'm a mile ahead of a DPS check. So as long as I didn't die, I was fine. So I've gone back and forth on these. I think this is the more beginner-friendly one, but I think this is the more powerful one if you you know, manage synchronized time correctly. So I would advise pretty much everyone to go this until they're really comfortable with the character. And then there's a good chance that's the late game option. 
like past level 90 late game. See how much damage it does now. That's a nice big burst of DPS. Eh, I'm still sustaining like six mil. That's not bad. Yeah, this, the guy's just going, spell bursting. Wait, is he legit doing almost all my damage? What the hell? He is. How is it that I do so? Wow. Okay. Good to know. I'm just for support here. I just exist to buff the clone. That makes me real comfortable with not caring about like DPSing and just going fast. No, no, it had a proc shield. Wait, I need rings. Maybe I am the clone. That's a very good point. Though, at that point, I'd at least prefer to be a doppelganger and not a clone, please. Oh, nope. Ah, uh, good old floor puddles. Gotta hate them. By the way, the new Trial of Divinity mechanic is literally just that the entire time. If it wasn't so rewarding, nobody would do it. All right, so this is the third piece. So I'm going to lock that because I don't think it's actually worth equipping right now. Mostly because my boots are kind of insane. One, two, three. But once I get the chest then it automatically becomes worth equipping. I can feel the DPS difference there. Oh. Going low life is early is probably not a good idea. I'm very tempted to. I needed that, because without the boss dropping hero relics and memories, um, I still wouldn't have one. They definitely felt much more accessible in the past. Okay. Ooh, I bet I have to go down by a link in just a couple levels here. When I replace the chest piece. Hmm. If a third zone already unlocked at time mark four, though, that means the fourth has to be time mark five and the fifth has to be time mark six, which does save quite a bit of time. I still think it's going to be like six hours to Traveler six, though. Which uh, we'll see if I do tonight. Might be an I do tonight, might be an I do tomorrow thing. Extra loot. 
Oh yeah, I should probably switch this guy to someone actually useful. Oh, who is actually useful for this build? What do you do again? Uh, increases drop quantity. Attack damage? No. Attack projectile. Spell damage. Mana restoration spell crit. All right, there we go. Oh, you. Form packed. Thank you. And now you give movement speed per second when it elites nearby. All right. Decent bonus. And which of these do I actually select for? 4% cast speed is not worth 20% damage right now. 12% spell. Wait, no, it's 10% not. Mm, I still don't think 4% cast speed matters. 2% double. I, uh, it's a lot closer, but I'm going to pass on it for now. Also, because I'm more of a movement speed fiend than an attack speed fiend, I should swap to other pet. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I in all the wrong menus here? Packed. Knight of Pale Blue for Impact. And not going to give up the life for EXP bonuses. Still have a res. Still have the damage taken. Res looks okay for this level. Wait. I just realized I didn't see a hero relic or memory. My filter might be hiding them. Uh, how do you show that again? Wait, what's the disable filter key? Hmm. I legitimately forget. All right, whatever. It's not that important. It just means that I should swap my filter to something less strict for now. Apply. There we go. Not oh, found it. Wait. <laughs> oh no that's actually so good for a low level thing like long term it's not good but for right now for a random piece of junk that I could have gotten off the floor it's basically ideal He still has phases, unfortunately, but not for long. Goodbye. Cool. Rock lizards interlocking. This early interlocking might sell. Ah, oh, it's minion crit. Okay, maybe interlocking won't, but whatever. It's one FE. This is chest armor belt. It's gonna be a chest. I feel it. Hmm. Alright. There's a bunch of trash on the floor now. Wait. I'm pretty sure I need an item level 80 dagger for it to roll plus one spell, which is probably why none were up. Ooh, that thing touched me and my health evaporated. Terrifying. It's okay, I touched him and his health evaporated.
Hmm. I kind of want to swap this. Nah, I don't have the crit support for it. I was like, I kind of want to swap it for crit multi, but I don't have that yet. Hmm. When I'm going mana, it's going to be harder to go crit too. Might have to use increased crit strikes. You know, rare gear becoming flame fuel, legitimately valuable now. Because you get so much less flame fuel because of it changes. Eh, don't quite have enough there. This is God of War. So the good news is a God of War is going to be in here. The bad news is I'm definitely going to get the belt again because that's how this works now. Oh, there it is. I was like, did I miss the God of War? Oh. Should probably get these. Keep forgetting that the commission letters are actually good. Ah! The campaign's certainly a lot shorter now. I don't really think grinding the treasure troves is a particularly interesting thing. To be honest with you, it kind of feels like the campaign was just effectively eliminated from the game. Oh, I should wait for this to end. Wait. I didn't get my thing. Why didn't I get my thing? Did I have to get a certain number of stages? I wasn't paying very close attention there. Or is this a loop filtering issue? This could be a loop filtering issue. Uh, create blank new filter. Apply. Nope, I did not get it. Well, that's what I get for not reading, I guess. Probably had to kill a certain number of enemies during... And I just didn't. Because I was looking at chat. Save the deck. New round. Oh, three additional. All right. I probably just went too fast, and while I was doing its countdown thing, I killed the boss, because that almost happened here, too. I don't know. I blame the maps for being too short. Ooh. Okay, that's good. This one is not good. Uh, Let's fix it. We're going to fix it here, chat. 83 max mana isn't terrible if we go mana stack. Freeze duration's kind of cool. 
Okay, mm. whatever. Seventy-seven, which I believe is that trait or talent? No. Oh wait, it might be because I haven't turned in my quests. Right, I have a couple quests to turn in. Oh, a furious man's body. There we go, put that up for sale. Someone might actually buy it. It's a pretty good item. I'm not freeze prox. Boy, does his health melt. All right, cast speed, every time a spell is cast, up to 13%. Uh, for every 20, when using a main skill, you have a 6% chance to trigger it at the cost of 10. Well, I think that's fine. It's not my ideal choice, but it should be fine. No, I don't want to do this. He's most of my damage. Oh, clearly because it's Rahan. Additional energy shield charge speed when recover. What? Why is that a stat? Well, I don't want this. So weird. I like how it gave me the price check tutorial there. Okay, open portal. Into portal we go. Let's do some boss nuking. Wait, how did the boss get an agility blessing? Oh no. Do I have an item that I haven't paid attention to that's like give a boss an agility blessing? I don't think I do. I think it's one of his abilities. But that that row is supposed to be full of debuffs. Come on, you're not supposed to have buffs. Mm, maybe I shouldn't face tank those. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. See, it's fine. Uh, God of Machines Divinity, Feline Gloves, Don't Really Matter, Cry of Divinity, Vestment of Song. Hmm? Did Vestment of Song get buffed? Let's find out. Yes, it did. Trigger Safeguard Field. I still don't think that's very good. I guess it depends on the level you get it at. It's not very good at this level anyway. All right, time mark five. Chester belt. Let's go, Chester belt. And by that, I mean chest. I'm still too fast to easily loot, which is a slight issue. But it also means enemies can't loot me. So that's buff.
Good old getting stuck. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try going through this area without casting at all. I'm just letting the clone do it. Oh, right. I have to go around this way. Like, you don't kill rares doing that. But legitimately, everything else is just dead. I'm already a running simulator build. I've clearly played the right character. Hmm. I have an idea. I think I'll need that ring when I respec. Hmm. Let's go with yearning here. I like how it's like, there are hero memory slots available. Yeah, the options you gave me were bad game. Of course there are. I have slots available everywhere. I have auras available because I don't have a mana for them. <laughs> I have hero memories because I just didn't have a good hero memory to put in it. And oh, this is so much damage from a clone. Oh my god. And none of it matters because I have a clone. Okay, good. Statue of War was early. Oh, it's another belt. Of course it is. Oh, that's probably what happened. I was going so fast, I, when it dropped, whatever it was, I just didn't notice. That's probably what happened. Yeah, sounds about right. Hmm. Actually kind of really good. Not good defensively. But damage-wise. You know what? No. If you're wondering why I'm picking this price, random number. I decided that's worth 9 FE. So it is now worth 9 FE. Those are kind of okay. Select for EXP, adjust deck to add yearning. Hey, so guides aren't really free to play or not free to play viable in this game because outside of the hero from the current season, you can earn all the other characters through gameplay. And it's not like any of our guides rely on a specific pet to make a build function, nor will they ever. Because they're leveling guides and I'm going to be honest, you shouldn't need a specific pet to level up. <laughs> so you will need to pay money to play Erica Lightning Shadow because she's tied to the battle pass. There's then the base traits, including the character that I'm playing right now. Those are just automatically unlocked when you start the game. 
and all the others are unlocked either if you A, use 100 hero emblems, which you can earn through gameplay, B, have the battle pass, in which case the characters are unlocked, or C, you pay to unlock them manually. And you can check the hero overview to see which base traits are automatically available to everyone from the start. Yep, you're welcome. New talent available. Sure, here. I'm about to respec anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Max that and go fight Watcher. Okay. About to get frozen. I... Aw. Okay. Um... Did I accidentally do what I think I did? Wait, it's under battle? No, it's under... Where is it again? Graphics. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I can turn that off. That's cool. I'm glad they let you turn that off because it's fun the first time to see like the really fuzzy town. And after that, it's just annoying. Hmm. Plus support skill level. Hello, Mr. Netherrealm. Okay. Full respect time. Damage? Ooh, do I go mana here? No, I think I don't. It means I give up area. Ooh. Hmm. Mana restored on hit. Maybe I do give up this for now. Which lets me go... Hmm. I haven't really looked into the mana stacking archetype. No. Uh, day one. I don't know who this is, but apparently they like Milky. Is anyone doing mana stacking shenanigans? Wait, how can I see that? Um, by... Oh, no one is doing mana stacking shenanigans yet. That answers that. So this is probably a supremely stupid idea. All right, let's just not try to force. Let's not try to force mana stacking. Let's just go back to what we we're doing. It was working. When it isn't broken, fixing it is just a bad idea. Which also means I don't need to be Arcanist either. And then here. 
Got the skill area. And one last point. No, I guess I could go crit now. Because with all the spell bursts, I don't really need the extra AoE. Cool. Yep, preparation, magister time. You know, I kind of don't mind going into the max life yes now. Uh, just take a look at the Maxwell Guide. Unless you have a question. But if you just want to know what towns to take, take a look at the guide. Okay, I go bunch. I get cast speed here. I think I might have oversaturated myself on cast speed earlier, to be honest. Play safe. And now, as much as I shouldn't, I really want to take Warlock because Warlock's just good. Now, I think I'm going to go... I'm going to stay Arcanist. I should be Elementalist right now. Hmm. Ranger's pretty cool, though. Ranger is pretty cool. I could just go Ranger. It would get me a whole bunch of crit strike, a whole bunch of crit damage. It doesn't have any cast speed, though. Mm, a little bit. But then I'd have to pay attention to mana because I'm too lazy to get the amulet. So I think I'm just going to stay this because lazy. Also, this helps with free stuff, and free stuff is cool. Oh, right. I don't have prerequisite, so I need to go... Probably of a life at this point. I'm not actually low life yet. Freeze duration. Frostbite inflicted. Four frostbite seconds. Cool. That's what I'm going to do for now. And cool, my mana sustains. Thunder Wastes unlocked. Time Mark 5 unlocked. So I'm going to add that to my note. Hmm. Bosses drop additional trinkets. It's kind of neat. But I think I'm going to go back here and get some Divinity Slates. So I have that system unlocked now.
You know, I don't know if my damage actually changed at all there. I gained a little more health. Not sure not, it's enough to matter, though. Oh, chance to mark on hint. That's a neat idea. All right. Oh, look, a flame elementium. That is, ooh, goddess of knowledge. Let's go. Double goddess of knowledge. Is it worth putting this in? No, it's not worth putting that in. That's max ES cold damage. And I have no materials to brand it right now. Um, sure. Replicate boss. Hmm. I don't think I need this, actually. Unless I get a really good one. Which, I guess, if I get a better helmet, it could be an upgrade. Hmm. My reroll mana stack plan has definitely come to a halt. Mostly because I thought about it for five seconds and I was like, wait a minute. I don't have any of the gear for mana stacking. I don't have mana on my gear and I'm wearing set items. This is a terrible idea. And then I went back to just default spell burst. Well, not quite default. I've made some tweaks. I'm still not necessarily happy with them fully, but they're okay. They're growing on me to the point where I might change the guides to this setup or the guide to this setup. Because you definitely go Warlock on both Gemma and Thea. But on Yoga, maybe I'll use this. I don't know. It's a DPS loss, but it feels better. Definitely DPS loss, though. Maybe it's not worth. I don't know. Let's see what my DPS is about. Because if this is still like 10 mil after 15 seconds, then it's fine. Okay, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> We're way over, actually. So. Ooh, ooh, glove necklace ring. Let's go. This guarantees my four piece, which will also fix my resistances. No, 
my health went away there for a second. But it's back now. You know what isn't back though? The time. <laughs> it's getting late, which means I should probably find a good stopping place in a little bit. Though, when the progression's this smooth, it's easy to get drawn into the just one more map mentality. Because this really has been absurdly smooth to progress. And pop. Got a machine's divinity. It's regen life and cooldown. Okay. Yeah, I'll put that one in. Adjust shape. Oh. That changed. Okay. Good to know. Confirm. I've already missed that in the patch notes. That wasn't in the patch notes. Kind of curious. It was not in the patch notes. Got it. One out of one. Yes, freeze durations. Because more freeze, more damage. All right. God of War. All right. Wait, why am I standing near him? What am I doing? I don't need to stand near him. That was how to take damage 101. I wonder. Nothing sold? Okay. But what about Sacrificial Blade? Spell skill level. Search. None found. There's some for sale. Level 78, level 78. Uh, what's the base attack speed? 1-4 on the guilt. 1-6. Uh, Ooh. Yoink. I bet. This is also a short blade. Oh, nope. They're both 1-6. All right, so 
let's uh, still replace that because I'm pretty sure that's the lower level one with less energy. It is. Additional damage if you've blocked recently. Kind of cool. Oh, additional against frozen. Yes. Cool. Now we just empower that. All right. Well, it didn't roll particularly well, but it's fine. I think I'm going to feel this upgrade. Oh. Yeah, that felt so good. Who knew having a real weapon led to having damage? I'm a little slower on attack speed this way, but I'm sure it's fine. Frostfire Ring. Affliction afflicted per second. Growth Ring Mana Regen. Mm. Actually, I could easily reroll that amulet and replace this. Well, I say I could easily do it. We'll see. If I get lucky, it's easy. Freeze duration. Hell yeah. Minus sealed mana. That's a way to brick my build. Base trauma, freeze duration intelligence. Projectile damage, freeze duration. Ooh, mana regen. Hmm. Ultimately, I don't think that ended up being worth it. I don't know, like 2 FE and sell this for 1. Oh, well, it defaults to 5, so... Nah, we'll go for 2. Hey, how's it going? And next up, you know, I kind of want to try Black Sail, so Whisper of Wealth. Like so. No. Boss drops, Divinity Slates, or Hero... Yeah, Hero Items. I need more Hero Items. Mostly because I'm just not using a slot because my options were so bad. Uh, 
Oh, don't worry about it, Justin. Who needs morals when you have Ember technology? Yeah, the new season's pretty fun. Leveling is way faster. This is coming from someone who is bad at leveling. All right, through the doors we go. And 81. Ran out of charges on that. It's fine, though, because boss gets frozen and then boss gets dead. All right. Uh, backup body with three slots. Yes. Okay. Elemental damage, additional damage taken at low mana. Cool. Not quite what I wanted, though. Yep. Install. And then you deal crit strike damage for every... Okay. That's fine. Cast frequency and movement speed. Okay, now that's that's what I was looking for. That's the stuff we need. Oh yeah, is this better than my current Voyagers? Nope. <laughs> Level that up. Start next round. Hmm... Oh, definitely this. Hmm, which piece am I hoping for here? I guess not necklace but it doesn't really matter because they're all really good. Ice bonds and that. Into the boss arena we go. About to be watcher time. I'm going to do two more here, though, because I really want the Voyager stuff. Because I'm so close to six piece. So, so close. That boss got deleted. I think that guy has less health. I'm going to hope he has less health. Otherwise, my damage is way higher than I expected it to be. I guess we'll see right here. Hmm. Yeah, I need to switch thing here. Because with these changes, I probably want to go increased crit. It'll show up as a DPS loss, but it'll actually be a DPS gain. I 
because I'm pretty sure that doesn't account for the twisted space-time bonus now. I could probably tank that, but I'm not going to. Shadow Dance. Surely someone wants this this early. <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, surely someone wants it, he says. Nope, no one does. No one cares. So we speed through here, collecting beacons along the way, and someday I'll collect the commission. Mm, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just forget them all. Guilt Shark Blade with ailment damage. So, trash weapon. No thank you. Kind of wish you could summon all with this. Because my clone has so much damage that the monsters just die as they get summoned in. Imagine being one of these Dark Surge monsters. You're like, yeah, I'm going to get it. Ah, frozen. Dead. <laughs> just instant annihilation. This is a most unfortuitous map for this. Because of this, I have to go track down the machines. Oh God. I was trying to go through a wall there. Uh, it's probably right here, isn't it? it? Tends to be. No, really? God damn it. Okay. Ah, here it is. Okay. Army of Machines has come to attack. Yeah. No. Oh, approach. Uh, identify. Equip. Equip. All right, four piece bonus obtained. Now we are out of here. I'll go to wave seven, though. Uh, welcome on in. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. Oh, I didn't need to remove that yet. Whoops. If people started Iris, I would assume it's because they like Iris. Five. What's this on? Oh. Oh, it's just helmet or boots again, though. So that's fine. If you're asking is there a very specific reason to play Iris over the other characters, unless you're trying to do very specific content, no. 
Now, if you're going for bossing, yeah, I could see that because Iris is generally better at bossing than a lot of non-minion builds. My pets are in no way relevant to what I'm doing right now. They're just random ones. Mostly just blues. Uh, yeah. This is what I have to do. Okay. You know, the minus additional elemental damage taken is kind of neat. Well, I'd like to get out of a fire. Alright, let's see. The good news about these goggles is they are much higher energy, so I'm probably going to use them. Oh, yeah, totally. I don't know if a res really matters, but... Energy for the win. Uh... Survivability doesn't matter when you freeze everything. I have made no effort to invest in survivability yet. That's something for later. Uh, adjust deck. Save. Boss is frozen, and then the boss goes away. No, oh, boss is frozen again. Boss is about to come back. Boss is frozen. So yeah, even bosses spend most of their time frozen. So this is still time mark five. Best character or build for a new player. Head over to max roll. Find one of the characters that are listed as the starting traits available. And play any of those except for Carino. Pick one that has a play style that you like. Yes, I've slightly modified the max roll build at the moment because I'm experimenting with something. And if this ends up working out, I'll be modifying the max roll build to match this. Not 100% sure yet, but aside of my last tree, it is just the max roll build. Oh, cufflinks. Yes. So now I just need Chester Ring. Oh, that's OST ended. That's unfortunate. I'll have to fix that in a moment. As it turns out, 
Yogi Illusion, insanely strong if you like casters. Yep, no problem. Luckily, we're in a spot where most of the free-to-play characters are in a pretty good spot balance-wise. Karina Ranger of Glory is the only one that I would avoid right now. But all the others, if you like the playstyle, you'll have a good time. I say if you like the playstyle, because if you don't like melee, don't play Rahan. <laughs> He's a melee guy. Stronger... <sighs> So that's a really hard one, because they're two of the strongest characters in the game right now. I think Elapse probably clears better, shockingly, and gets a little tankier faster. But Space-Time Illusion has more single target damage. And give me just one second to pull something up here. League start build, any advice? Exclamation mark max roll. Actually, someone already did it right above you. You can check out our hero trait tier list to see how all of our guides rank against each other. And then pick something that appeals to you. Uh, please don't start Karino Ranger of Glory win Yen. He is terrible. He got nerfed. He got nerfed a lot. Helmet or boots? Don't need helmet or boots. Beacons, sure. The hero tier list is under resources. How bad was a nerf? Well, he was already the weakest character in the game, Sea Cats. And so when something's already the worst and it gets nerfed, it doesn't have to be too severe to be terrible. I think the nerf was only like 20% damage, which if he was good would be fine, but he was already like 50% behind a lot of the other characters. And so now he's 60% behind a lot of the other characters. What I hope is that Karino Ranger of Glory gets as many buffs in the future as Yoga Illusion has gotten. Because Yoga Illusion was also the worst character in the game at one point, and now he's one of the best. Which is great. The other character that got a nerf for... No real reason was Bing. Poor Bing. He also wasn't particularly good. And that's why those two are in F tier. AKA, um, if you're playing this, it's it's not going to go well. Skill area every two seconds while you're in twisted space time up to 22. Eh, I move out of twisted space time way too fast. And. Oh. Whoops. Start next round. And time to take down this guy.
Okay, damage is feeling really good. I don't think six piece actually impacts my damage much. Another round mentor, skip. Okay, put the last point here. So that's on six, that's on six. This is still on five and this one's on six, right? Yeah, this one's on six, cool. So I'm about to unlock Voidlands. Oh, additional flame sand. That's so good. Sage Wand, crit strike, minion double damage. Nope. Let's go. Ooh, Crow's Whale. Ultimate Ember. Oh, that's big. Two additional slates. I believe it seems relatively smart, too. No, I was doing the thing where instead of holding down my movement button, I held down my attack button again, which is clearly very not necessary because even without touching the attack button, things die. Imperial Iron Sentry. Does anyone actually want this right now? Oh yeah, this has more... No, that has less... That's the less energy one. Um, sure. Someone might want that. Hmm. I should probably start killing these rares again. Get some stuff ready for miss. Oh, easy. That barely took any time at all to just instantly melt that thing. Good. Flame Elementium times five. That's Goddess of Knowledge and God of Might. Do I need more damage? No. Am I going to get more damage? Maybe. Mm, none of these. Nope. Wait. Maybe. Is that worth 15 FE? Do I even have 15 FE to pay? I do not have 15 FE. It's also not worth it. The first one I got was such a steal at three. Absolute steal. This is chess piece. Mm, 
Yeah, I kind of want to get the chest. So let's try for it. Okay. With the freeze duration, bosses really do die in the freeze. All right. I am way more on board with this. Whisper of Wealth? Oh, yeah. Okay. So the Whisper of Wealth doesn't matter yet, but also the whole thing doesn't matter yet because I'm not in... Damage is taken from mana before life. That does not help me right now. That would actually straight be a bad thing. So when I'm not doing damage, I do run out. Maybe the cast speed node is worth it then. Right, that would be minus the twelve percent max life. Yeah, that's that's fine. I already have life there. Life and ES here. Mm, crit rating first. Then sure, some life and ES, because AoE doesn't matter as much at this point. It's really good early on, though. Because now I'm constantly using skills, so I'm constantly at full mana. And the cast speed definitely helps. Okay. So we do this just until we get the Voyagers, then we nope out of here. Let's go. I have to watch for it carefully, because at this speed, I might actually miss it. Strap. Damn it. Uh, it doesn't want me to complete my set bonus. OK. 
Okay. Swap that to time mark six. Swap this over to Oh, it's already time mark six, right? Hmm. Maybe I'll get something good from this. I just. Oh, I always go the wrong way on that map. Don't know why. Damage is still acceptable in time mark six. Felt a little slower on that rare, but rares are also tanky as raid bosses now. You know, I think it might have just been that I wasn't ramped up because that one died in the freeze like it was supposed to. Yeah, he also died in the freeze. Good. This song is so iconic. Anyone who played Metal Gear, you will absolutely recognize it instantly. I'm sorry, Miss Phil Resident. Are you okay? You look like you got deleted there. Get a little extra tanky here. Mm, sure. Any Voyagers? No Voyagers. Wait. Narrow Path of Fate. Exchange for Hero, Relic, or Memory with at least one T2 affixes. Cannot be traded. Interesting. It was basically just more SSF cards now. All right. I wonder. I'm really curious how much damage I'm doing right now. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> this is so much damage for so little gear. What the heck? So what would my damage be if I had a second real weapon? 
This is a 1.6. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Right, so I don't need that anymore, although the 32 additional is quite nice. But this has 40% additional. Oh my god, this is so good for how cheap it was. What the heck? Alright, so I just did, what was that, 36-ish? Hmm. I guess it didn't change all that much, which does make sense. My last weapon was pretty decent. Oh, that's funny. It actually says that it's better, that this one's worse. Why is it saying that? When I have a 19% chance plus one spell. Oh, it's just for spell damage that's holding it. You know. Oh, cast speed, I bet. One thing I kind of want to do, though, is if I lock these. But I can roll into better. It's pretty close. Nope. Nope. Spell damage erosion. Close. Dot intelligence. Lightning fire. Yes. Cool. Now I think this will legitimately just be better. We'll see. Wait a couple seconds here. Uh, it's less damage now, apparently. All right, well, I guess I bricked that weapon. Good to know. That's why you buy the 1 FE one instead of a 15 FE one. Wait, is this just a second copy of the exact same weapon that I bought and bricked? So I can just buy this for 1 FE and put it on because it's fine. Because it was slightly better. Cool. Hmm. Oh, I think that I can do what I wanted. Oh. All right, that's going to hurt a little, but it's fine. Sage wand with what on it? Damage to light. Don't think that's good. And unfortunately, neither of those. Sure, we'll take drones and relics and memories. Yes. Wait, difficulty three. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, fine. We'll go do it. It's hoping to cheese it up to six. I've got you can't interact with a mechanic at all if you want to do that. 
Oh well, at least we got Flame Elementium. Damage is taken. Eliminate non-elites. Well, non-elites aren't gonna... Six provides one. Nah, none of those are good, unfortunately. Let's load this back up again, and you know what? We're still going to go for hero items. Five pieces on, right? One, two... Yeah, five. I'd really like to get that sixth... Wait, what? Explode? Okay. Okay. Uh, list an item. 15. Hmm. Yeah, sleep may very well be in order. Although it is non-shutdown maintenance, so... I just want my six piece. I just want the six piece. I keep losing the coin flip. It's so bad. I keep getting belt. All right. First Voidlands boss. Let's see how it goes. I have 30 mil DPS, so it better go well. Yeah, it's going well. Okay. That's bad. Your clone, please kill him. Oh, clone killed him. Cool. That's that's good old Voidlands boss if I ever saw one. Hmm. So let's try for the set again. Hmm. Okay, the good news is my damage is fine, even on one of those things. Uh, those things are, like, tankier than Watchers, so that's good. Assuming they're all equally weighted, it's a one in three for me to get it here. But I'm just going to, for my own sanity, assume that I get it. Because I've lost so many coin flips, but statistically... Oh no, did he die before he got frozen? That's unfortunate.
Oh, hello, Ring. Well, you're a bit of an upgrade, mostly because my last one was genuinely terrible. Let's craft. Done. Targeted processing. Do I add a suffix to this? Nah. There's no way, right? Yeah, no. I'm not taking enough damage, but I feel like I need it yet. No. Okay. Well, it made me restart anyway. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to get one more off. Yep, confirm, log back in. Oh no, let me back in. Is, is this a sign to call the street? Nope, we're okay, we're back in. Last one here. Let's go. Ooh, precious forging chest. That'll be some good loot. I like how I'm just looking around and everything on my screen is frozen and then it just explodes into loot. Build is successful. Oh, I almost died there. Because trash on the floor hurts. And I have no way to recover my health because I haven't needed to. Right. Commemorative. No, it's a brooch. That's like the least useful thing it could have been. Oh, no. Bamboozled by RNG again. You know what? I don't feel like staying in this map because there's garbage from the sky raining down everywhere, so we're just gonna gonna go finish this map real quick. Uh, click the chest. Mm, not useful. He's any good? Not really. I think those were my first wedges in forging. Hmm. Is it going to let me down? I feel like it's going to let me down. Uh, that's just worse than what I'm wearing. Gonna be honest with you, I haven't looked at it, so I have no idea. Basically, I play this game as if pets didn't exist, and I spend as little time thinking about them as I can.
So after this, I'll get the Watcher. That's two towards Traveler. I'm really close to Traveler. Oh, but I'm also getting real tired. We'll see. We'll see what comes first here. Oh, perfect. Definitely want that. That was some unnecessary damage. See, this is the awkward thing about going with the set bonus and also doing yes stuff. You kind of can't. Because if I was low life right now, I don't have yes gear on. I guess if you go double ring amulet belt, that gets you your four piece. Man, I really hope this is chest. Just be chest this time, please. Please, God of War. That's all I want. What's this? Good. That's what that is. All right. That's a big old boss, and that's a watcher. Come on, chess piece, chess piece, chess piece. God damn it! Oh, this 50 50 bullshit's annoying. Okay, whatever. Hmm. <sighs> One singular flame elementium, please. Hmm. I'm at 32. So if I did these three, I'd get Traveler. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it just feels bad to lose a coin flip, and that's the only reason that you don't have your six piece bonus. Especially because I suspect when I go to time mark seven, these won't appear anymore. Because why would they? They're forgetting to time mark seven. It is going to be real awkward. Also, I'm tired, so at this point I'm grumpy. OK. 
Can't argue if it builds speed, though. Really can't. New talents. Um, this will be tomorrow me's problem to sort out. For now, we're just going to go with a little bit of life and stuff. Yeah, more Whispers of Wealth, please. Yes, 31% additional. Let's go. These are just commission letters. Don't actually need them. I wish for commission letters were auto-loot, to be honest. They keep baiting me into thinking they're Flame Elementium. Oh, I'm stuck. I think that's better than what I'm wearing. Mm, yeah. This level of passive damage is just absurd. I mean, uh, just in case anyone from XD is listening. Yoga Illusion is super underpowered and needs buffs. He needs at least 50% more damage. Oops. Statue of War. Oops. Perfect. Two more after this. Can I just face tank? Yes. Yes, I can. No, maybe I shouldn't just face tank there. Oh, he did beam. That is very unfortunate.
Cool. That's on to time mark seven. Oh, they do show up. That's good, at least. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely getting tired because the light from my camera is starting to bother my eyes. All right. Well, that's the case. I'm just going to do this and uh, just turn that off. Right. That also means after this, I'm going to call it. No point in trying to get this done when I'm too tired. can do it in the morning. But hey. It's been a really smooth leveling process all the way up to time mark seven. I'm sure Traveler will be no problem at all. And I hope you've enjoyed the journey. Thanks for coming along.